Seamless as fuck, wasn't it? You guys are what? No. That was about three seconds, huh? Is that, that's, that's about seamless as it gets. Alright, so let's pick this up and let's head on out. My new protege. Should have called Dead Scene. Dead, oh, yeah. Oh, where is Dead Scene? He's supposed to be with us. Because he can help us hold the camera. Yeah, so should we call Dead Scene? Yeah, I don't have his number. I got his Instagram. Fuck. Yo, yeah. Um, Dead Scene. Where, what the, where, the, where are you? Yeah, hit him up on Instagram. I think he's with Grimoire right now. Yo, is the stream good? Chat, no lag or nothing? Are we good? Yes or no? Alright, yeah, yeah, we are. Okay, gang shit. So, uh, let me see what he where he is. Let me go ask Kimberly what his number is, because I know she's got his number. Or I know, do I have his number? I don't even know. I don't think I do. I just shot him a DM and said, call me. Hmm. You're not on camera, by the way, I don't think. No, I am. I think this is dead scene. Let me call. Am I? Yo, press one in the chat. Me? No, no, just the oh. viewers. Yeah, okay, I'm live, so. Hello? Yo, who's this? Is it Dead Scene? Uh, yeah, what's up, bro? Yo, where you at? Finance, Andy, uh, ain't got shit on me. Like, Yo, you trying to link up, bro? I wanna, I wanna I'm doing a stream. You wanna hang out with uh, me yeah. and. What? Yeah, yeah, where, where are you guys gonna go? Sixth Street. All right, yo, just meet me on Sixth Street then. All right, for sure. Um, all right. All right, see you soon. I'll see you soon. Alright, bye bye. Yo, thanks, but yo, shout out, split the wig, shout out, think tank, thank you, face claim more. Uh, face, if I understand, got shit on me. Yo, maybe you're gonna have to prove it this week. Uh, is Luna coming out with you guys if he wants to? Uh, he's more than welcome to. Uh, the whole crew together. And then, yeah, fucking seamless gang. Yo, that was, it was like a two second thing. It, was, it wasn't too bad. All right, yo, is Gary going to travel with you? No, he's in Rhode Island. Had, I don't know, like with his mom getting drunk or something. Oh, so, yeah, let's go on now. Let's meet. Let's go to Sixth Street. Let's meet everyone and let's see what's up. When are we doing the host wave? Uh, soon enough. Not now, but we'll see. Let me see. I'm not going to six chat. I got to go to wake up at 5 a.m. Yo, sh shout out to Midge. He ain't going to six though. I mean, I wish he would, but it's all Midge, good. what up, bro? Yo, Midge, what do you think about Midge? You like Midge? Midge is fucking hilarious. Except, dog, you gotta get that sweating under control. Yo, no, 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 no I'm just pointing the camera oh. at you. Yeah, <laughs> you have a lot to learn. Oh, excuse me, Dad. So, <laughs> so Midge, I like him too, but he sweats like crazy. I don't bro, even we want to touch that him. Runway, I was like, hey, Jack, Midge, bro. Can I use bro. Your Tinder profile pic? Thanks. Can he wants to use you for the Tinder profile pic? Who is pic. this? Claymore. Uh, sure. I don't care. Yo, uh, realistic, pick. realistically, bro, you could. What about me? You could use me as your as your profile pick too. I told you I'm the face of this group, man. I am the face. That's true. You right here. You gonna get us all the girls, dude? <laughs> realistically, because I have I've always had this hard time. Whenever I want to do events with girls, I have a hard time getting the girls to actually do the event because they think I'm weird. <coughs> So maybe you can so help we us can, with that. We can pull this in, but if we go out the six right now and you and no and the girls don't fuck with you, we're gonna have a problem. That I don't know. I don't know what value you gonna bring. I'll find out the things. Don't worry. I'm a man of many talents. All right. Later, Snoop. Uh, alrighty. So I can't actually drive while I'm streaming. I can. So you can drive. Yeah. All right. So let me put the cam down real quick. Oh, I'd rather take the trash out this week. It smells like fucking shit, dude. <laughs> Whose fucking wheelchair is that? I don't know. I don't know. You want to drop my car? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You might have stopped with the gas, though. That's fine. Oh, dude, what is all that? Don't worry, I got the pick is that Johnny Rockets on my Tinder and I smash every time. Hey, shout out to you, Claymore. Yo, that's actually dope. Well, shit, then it sounds like you need to be the guy. Oh, God, hold on, my... Fuck, uh, let me... Can you hold that for a sec? Yeah, my cables and shit are getting all tangled. This thing fell out of my backpack, my life. You got it? Yeah. All right, cool. What's up, guys? Place. Faze, yeah, go ahead and use my picture for a uh, Tinder profile. Uh, I'll go ahead and delete my old one so that way they don't find me on there as well. Do you use Tinder a lot? 
No, and I don't use Tinder at all. Bro, why not? Tinder is so easy. Uh, because it's a bunch of girls on there these days. They're like, add me on my Snapchat, and then it's like, oh, pay for my premium, and I'm like, no. Yeah, Taylor. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not paying for nothing. Oh yeah, dude. That, wait, is that true? Dude, they try to just get oh you to pay God. for their premium All Snapchat. The time. That would actually is that like new? Dude, so that's that Snapchat premium shit. I was like, I didn't know what it was, and then uh, I don't think that's real though. He's got because I oh, it's real. Like girls will like do some weird stuff, like triple X rated stuff. On there just to like. But how do you know it's not just a dude getting girl pictures and on the internet? They're videoing it, oh. and their videos no, themselves doing, doing certain things. Join the CX network. Join the CX network. Oh, there's no initiation. Don't play with me. Oh uh, yeah, the Hollywood handshake. Yeah, I told them all about it. But uh, yo, you honestly, because I remember a long time ago. Pick? Can I get charged for my grinder pick? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I was I was thinking I was like a long time ago I remember when on Plenty of Fish there was this one scam, and it was uh, it was guys and they would like pretend to be girls and they would use like photos from the internet and you would have to pay money to like uh, no no you'd have to pay money to like uh, see their photos but it's not really the girls it's, it's just guys. For the most it's all but think, but seriously, what kind of guy do you, first of all, who the fuck would give a girl from Tinder money to see their Snapchat premium? Like, that's, like, I would never do that. I would never give a girl money just to it's see their like premium. It's like subscribing to something, man. Like, these guys are subscribing to their premiums and they pay money. Except, like, it's, which one? You know? Uh, just make a U-turn. We're going to six. So go to the... Yeah, yeah, take a left and then you turn. Fuck, all right. Um, but no, like, these guys, like, but, like, there's girls that's, like, they'll sell, like, pictures and shit to you, and they're, like, $40 for 10 pics and two vids and shit like that. But I don't understand, because why don't they just go on, like, swipe left, go to the next girl that's not going to want right. money? That's what I'm saying. But, like, that's what it started with, and now, like, Tinder is, like, blown up in the world because Tinder's always known as, like, that hookup site, and then you've got Bumble, which is kind of, like, a, a medium area, and then, what is it, like, Hinge, uh, Plenty of Fish... Uh, what are all these sites? I just that's all on, these like. I just went on Tinder, bro. Yeah, that's all the new ones out there, man. It's guys like people CDG I meet, like guys like CDG and Moises Home. Bro, Moises does not give girls money like that. I do not give. I do, uh, so many people. Luchador paid Jesse Taylor two hundred dollars. That's right, Lucha did pay Jesse for her t premium Snapchat. That I remember that. That See? was crazy. That's what I'm saying, dude. Like that happens all the like. Like, there's girls that they're like, oh, I'm quitting my job. Like, I'm in a premium Snapchat. And I was like, what? I just don't get it, bro. All right, but realistically, bro, if I was single, I could take huge advantage of that. I'd be like, bro, listen, I'm a streamer. I'll fucking get your your Snapchat lit, but we should fuck first. <laughs> and then we don't, I don't get their Snapchat the, lit. Dude, that's the thing, man. Is like, there was like, there was one girl that a buddy of mine was like following or whatever, her premium. And like, what she would do is she'd have a normal Snapchat and she would like pose like teaser videos, like like second clips of what she was doing. And then on a weekly thing, all of her subscribers, she would pick a name from that randomly of all the guys. And she'd bring them over and she would like fuck them or blow them or some shit. Wait, what? Weekly. What do you, so if they paid for her Snapchat. Like on a premium, like a premium Snapchat She, thing, she like rolled dice and got the fuck yeah, or blow she would people. Pick like a, she would like, she downloaded an app and said pick a random name. And she would pick a random person every week. And they would come in, they would meet her at her house or her apartment, wherever the hell she lived. You're going to want to make this right and then you turn all the way back around. This goes to the highway. Make it right, make it right. All right here. Yeah. And uh, she would, uh, she would bring people to her house and she would like blow them or fuck them or wait, something. Wait, wait, who are you talking about? I don't, it was a buddy of mine from Alabama. Yo, you don't got the link? Hmm? You don't, no, got, I ain't got, you don't no, got the link, dude? Not for her damn Snapchat, no. Bro, that's actually good because most girls, they just, you know, maybe send like a titty, uh, you know, a titty photo or something. But if she's out there really uh, fucking these, these dudes. These girls get freaky, dude. Like, I'm seeing them like, like butt plugs and like Bro, everything, like vibrators, like that can't be legal. car batteries to nipples. Like, it's some weird what? shit. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, what are you talking about? Fuck robot. Andy. Isn't that what you told the slug to? Oh, yeah. Well, I said if she fucked so the robot straight. straight yeah I said if she fucked the robot she would her Instagram would get followers which it did I wasn't lying Jesse's Instagram got followers 
from Wait. fucking the robot. Oh, is this that girl that you told me about that fucked your robot at the house? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so she fucked my robot, got followers from it, and you know, that was it. I mean, she was already posting <laughs> nudes online. She was already like, she's a stripper. Oh. So it's not like I convinced her to like get fucking naked. Get and out shit. of roll as Like, yeah. she's already been fucking dudes and shit, dude. So she, you know what I'm saying? Lots so. Of yeah, so I mean, it, it, yeah, so it was just like, I wasn't lying about that, but yo, that's crazy. That's gotta be prostitution, though. Straight. All straight. the way straight. Dude, that's the thing. Like, that's kind of what I thought, but I was like, are they really paying? Because they're not paying her for, I mean, for the sex, technically. They're paying her for her premium, and so it's not like she's being handed cash at the end of said act. It don't matter though. It's the intention, bro. If I'm gonna pay for a girl Snapchat and I can, I have a, I have like a ten percent chance of she, of her fucking me per week. That's got to be prostitution. <laughs> I guess so. But I mean, hey, fuck it. I mean, bro, I she would had to be making stupid amounts of money from doing something like that. Because I mean, you could get. I mean, I don't even think she knows who she was honestly getting, or maybe it was rigged. I don't know because like, she then they, they never showed the guys is what they said. They only showed the girl. So, I don't know if the, these guys had to be, like, legit random. So, she could get some super fit guy, or then she could just get some hey, fucking Chad, troll who was, like, 250. Do you do no spears or ripper magoos? What is that? What in the hell? I have no idea. Bro, I was thinking, are there girl simps? Like, are there girls, you think, that would be willing to pay money to, like, I don't know, fuck me? Yeah. You really think so? Oh, yeah. You gotta realize, dude. So, this world that we're going into nowadays, I mean, is this all social media based, right? You've got a big social media platform with the streaming. You've got a nice Instagram following crowd. You've got you've got plenty of years of experience behind all of this, and you're well known. Like, you go to different countries and states all the time. So, those girls are like, oh... I probably can get famous from this guy. He puts me on his thing, da 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 da. It's like everyone was saying, like, hey, you made me. You can end up making some girl just buy her fucking you. Okay, but what about, do you think the girls would fuck me because I'm just attractive, or do you think they would only want the clout? Because, obviously, guys pay a girl Snapchat for, you her know, looks. for how she looks, not clout. Right. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't see why not, honestly. You're not a bad-looking guy. I wouldn't say you're ugly at all. Yo, chat, what do you think? If I was single, do you think girls would actually pay for my premium Snapchat? Like, realistically? Because I think, I think honestly, I think it would be mostly guys on my premium Snapchat, and they would literally pay for my Snapchat just to laugh at my noobs. I don't think, like, you know what I mean? It'd be like a bunch of dudes, and they'd be like, oh, look at this, I see his dick. <laughs> like, it wouldn't be, like, girls, you know what I mean? Or it'd be like, you know, like gay guys, which, you know what I'm saying, like, it wouldn't be girls, because I've had a lot of gay dudes message me, like, pictures of their dicks. So, man, one thing that I've learned in the industry that I'm in with the modeling, everyone is, first assumption is, oh, I bet your inbox gets blown up with a bunch of bitches and stuff like that. No. No. I get hit on by gay men 90% more than I do ever. Bro, that's how it really is. And, like, I'll tell you one thing, man, they are not afraid to tell you what they want to see or anything. Dude, I've had people, like, offer to buy, like, my old sportswear underwear and stuff like that. And, like, <laughs> they want to, like, they want to, like, get, like, a, something they can send me to me. And they're like, what's your Amazon wish list and shit like that? Like, offer to, like, get me to buy me this underwear for me to wear it and then mail it back to them. Like, I'm not kidding you. Dude, I, yeah, I, I, feel, I, hundred, I get that. Cause I, dude, I've had gay guys. I had this one guy, he like dressed as a girl and he 100%, he would message me and be like, I have a big cock, daddy. If you fuck me, I'll give you like 500 bucks. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm like, dude, this is like like a year ago or something. Man, like, I've had I was like, dude. men like, that lived in like Miami and LA and shit, like bigger cities, like offered to like, oh, let me fly you out. And you know, you don't have to do anything with me at all, but let me just fly you out and you just hang out with me for a couple of days and I'll pay for everything and I'll pay you for it. And every, I'm but that's how it is, though. Like, gay guys will flirt with you more than girls. They have a lot more... And they have more money, too. Money and balls. They have more balls. Literally and figuratively. That's true. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Because, like, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think there's a market for male premium Snapchats. I think it's really... It would be gay guys. Like, if I had a premium Snapchat, it would be just gay guys. It wouldn't be girls. Which is fine if they're paying either way. I don't care who sees my dick. But it, that's just, I'm just saying, like, I don't think there'd be girls involved. Because I have, I mean, I have had sex with some of, like, some girls who have been fans of me. 
Yeah. Like I'll travel somewhere and then they'll hit me up on like Twitter or something and be like, uh, you know, like, what's up? And I'm like, hey. And they're like, you in town? I'm like, yeah. She's like, come by. And I'm like, all right. And then all I right. go by and I fuck and, you know, I leave. And it's great, you know, gang shit. <laughs> gang shit. Yeah. But that, that's been not a very often occasion. <laughs> you know, the more often occasion was, hey, can I stream with you? Well, see, that's what I was going to ask you, man. It's like, whenever you go out to like a bigger city and you're like, hey, I'm in town. Do you ever be like a meet and greet or something like that? Like, hey, come and see me here, blah, 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 something like that. I've done that before. Yeah, like, come check out, you know, come check me out, land on the live for a minute, something like that. Somebody said I'm lying, bro. I'm not lying. How, what do you mean I'm lying, bro? You don't think girls have ever messaged me just being like, yo, come through and fuck no, me? Like, a don't, don't disrespect the name like that. Put some respect on it, man. That's what I'm saying, bro. You, of course they have. Like, dude, that's crazy to think otherwise. But, uh, Morgie's hand? Oh, I was just talking about the whole, like, live meet and greet thing. Like, you know, you're ever like, hey, like, do you ever, like, go to somewhere and you're like, hey, are you cool with me setting up a thing right here while I do a meet and greet? Like, have you ever, like, talked to a business about doing something like that before? I had a meet and greet in San Diego at a bar <laughs> this one time, but I usually do a meet and greet at, like, a park or something. Okay, that's cool, yeah. Or, I mean, I don't even the really... The public scene is probably the best. I don't really do meet and greets, though, because, I mean, I just... Viewers, they... Just, just when I'm streaming, viewers can just come up and say hi to me. Right. What? Take Chad and Giga Chad the Chowderheads and have a talk with Ed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it's not there because it's my, my old my old agree. employer uh, hates me, and he said he's going like to make me into moose meat. Oh, let us come talk to him. Well, no, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, I doesn't really do meet and greets, but sometimes fans like that's what I'm saying. Since I'm live streaming, you know, fans will just come up and say hi, like because right. I'm live. So I don't really need to do meet and greets. But I'm saying like you're like, hey, I'm coming into town, and this is where I'll be. Come say hey, and like this is my live. You know what I'm saying? Or do you just go live and you're like, this is where I'm at. Come check me out. Like, do you do like that? Yeah, I mean, if I travel somewhere, I'll just put it in the title. I'm in Colorado, or I'm in yeah. fucking wherever, and then they just come out. Cool. Because I, you know, I encourage it. I want people to come and say hi, and you know, I, I like it. You know, That's what what I mean? also, yeah, you know, it's cool to meet the people who are following you. You know, like that, not just in mind. You know, just a little chat box, like being able to see them because they see you all the time. But although I have, I've had some, I've had some. Uh, weird over the top people that go well, way too I mean, far with what comes with the good comes with the bad my man when i was in toronto there was this guy and he was like saying shit like uh i'm gonna sl like i'm gonna follow you to your hotel and i'm gonna sleep outside of your hotel and wait for you to come out so i can see you again in the morning and i said don't do that i said don't do that that's fucking weird i don't want like don't follow me to the hotel so i mean so yeah please uh or when i was in uh i was in oregon i think <laughs> i was in portland and I think that was one of the most, that was the most interesting city I went to because I would tell people to leave. They would come say hi. And then that, after like an hour or 30 minutes of talking, I'd be like, all right, guys, bye. I want to go stream on my own now. And they would follow me. Like I would have like a three or four dudes that just followed me and like I'd be blocks away from where I was originally and they would like peek around the corner or like walk by and you know, like so they were peeking like we were the other night on uh, Caleb and uh, Grimm. Yeah, they like, bro. I swear to God, like I've had people like do that, and that's 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 when it gets like too much. Like I want people to be able to come up and say what's up, but don't follow me if I'm trying to go stream on my own. Like, don't follow me. That's you gotta respect weird. the boundaries. Oh, we're going that's right. Yeah, you gotta. Some people don't respect the boundaries. That's that's true. Tracks and Andy. That's right. Tracks and Andy did do that, but Tracks and Andy and Mexi and Andy. And, you know, actually, everyone. What the, what the fuck's up with his Andy's, man? Everyone did that. Well, that's, but I, I like Tracks and Mexi and Andy, so it was not a big deal because I liked them. Um, so yeah, so there's this meme. We're going to stop using gas in a second. That's fine. There was this meme where people come and Andy is like their name. Like, I don't know how to explain it. We just say, like,. Oh, okay. Or something like that. So, you know. so that's what we were confused about the other night when everybody was calling me a Chad. And I was like, no, no, that's Sean. It's Sean. I don't know where y'all getting Chad from. And then they called. No, Chad's a meme. Well, yeah, I knew that Chad now. Like, I didn't, I didn't feel Iran so hard. World War III. Iran and World War III. Okay. What? Use you and your brother against Iran and World War III. So, me and my brother did talk about that if they did a World War III, that we would go off and we would go and fight. We said we would do it. You would get drafted. We would actually. I. Yeah, well, one of us would. It'd be me. You would want, you would just enlist. Yeah, we would enlist. We wouldn't worry about the draft. We would just go off and do it. Uh, why? Because, I mean, well, I love America, so I'm not trying to let this, you know. Yeah, but if you have a job and, and a life already, it's kind of hard to just go enlist in the military and leave everything behind. 
Yeah, but what am I doing? Bartending? I mean, I, I guess. I mean, if you so you would just enlist. Like, I mean, that's that's I would, that's bold. I would, uh, I would, uh, so I would. Well, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I would just do uh, about three months. Uh, I would leave my job, or I'd go off on a like a like. So what you can do is you can apply for a thing at your job. Well, not apply. You just tell them, hey, I'm going into the military, and you still get uh, they. Your job is still held by law. Really? Yeah, they can't like they can't like if you come back, they have to give you your job back and things of that nature. Like it's that's one of the laws that's protected. Why if you get like enlisted or drafted off or something like that. Um, with that being said, though, as I said, I would probably do like three months beforehand of serious training and get myself into like some superior, like some incredible shape, Alabama and then boys. I would go off. Miracle. Bro, that's that's some noble. Good Alabama boys. Miracle. Bro, that's noble as fuck. This dude will just enlist in the military at twenty five, four, four twenty four years old. Twenty five in uh two months. It was kind of late. Oh to no, enlist. next month. It's kind of it's kind of late to enlist at twenty four, isn't it? Oh man, you, you I mean you started enlisting at uh eighteen. That's what I'm saying. So, no, 24 is not late at all. I mean, there's people, think about it, people who retire out of the military, they're, you 20 years in the military to uh, get retirement, so they're 38, tend to be enlisted today at 18. Now, they don't usually take people, I think it's like after 30 and things of that nature, because then it's like, you might have some health issues and things of that nature. Yeah. You're a high risk for injuries. That's On that note, I'll be right back, chat. Got to go uh, get some gas. That's crazy. But all right, I think he'll do. I think I think we'll be able to get some good some good girls out if there's any out right now. We'll be able to convince them to do this bachelor thing, bro. He's really Captain America, isn't he? <laughs> What's up, drink, bud? Uh, no, I'm good. Right. It's nice out today. Uh, I mean, it's just yeah, it's a pretty nice day out. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's great. Gary ain't getting drafted. That's for sure, bro. Gary would have joined the military. Neither. I mean, I, I used to want to, but I'm 25 now. I think it's too late. What's up, Velvet? I'm doing good. How you doing? Gary ain't getting drafted. That's for Gary sure. Gary ain't getting drafted. That's for sure. I don't think I would go into the military uh, if war broke out, uh, because I mean, I look at my. I'm not in very good shape. I'm also 25, and I just don't think I would add any value to the military. <laughs> I think they would. I think whatever platoon I'm in, I would just be dragging them down, realistically. So I would. I don't think you know if I got if I got drafted, I would you know have to do it. So I would do it. I wouldn't like run away from the draft because you know that's kind of rude. You know, America's been great to me, so I'm not gonna run away from the draft. But you know, I definitely would not be the best soldier around. I'll make a good decoy. That's what I'm saying, bro. I don't want to be a fucking decoy. Oh man, but hey, it is what it is. I used to hey, I took that I took the app, the uh, the ass fab already. I used to want to. I was this close to being a marine, this close when I was eighteen. I was about to join the marines, and uh, I was gonna go to college first so I could enlist as an officer as opposed to uh, whatever, just like a fucking rank one. But you know, I didn't do all that so. I wanted to be like a fucking, like, I don't know. I wanted to go in like the special forces and shit. Like I took ROTC and like, I was super, I was super into it, dude. Back when I was like eight, 17, 18. So I was in better shape when I was 18. I was like working out and stuff. It was a different time. So don't worry. But instead, yeah, I became a line cook and went into finance, but that's fine. I wouldn't be a streamer if I went into the military. I would probably still be in the military right now. I wouldn't be a streamer, and, you know, like, I, so I think it all worked out for the best. But could you imagine me in the Special Forces? Bro, that would be crazy. But if I ever get drafted, I, I, I made this promise. I make this promise. I would stream or I, I would stream if wherever there's internet, bro. I'll take my phone with me. I'll stream it, dude. A hundred percent. I don't know if they would let me stream it, but I would smuggle a phone in and I would sh just have a, I would have like a little live stream with like a, you know, like right here, just attach it to my chest, the phone on like a strap and just walk around streaming, bro. Gang shit, like a hundred percent, bro. I'm gonna make because I don't gotta pay taxes because I'm in the military and I'll just make money streaming and I'll come back as a millionaire, dude. Perfect.
That would be something, yeah. That would be <laughs> fucking crazy. The EBZ angles, though, but that's fine. What's up? I'm just saying I would stream if I went in the military. You wouldn't? No, I would stream. I would oh, yeah. stream in the military, yeah. A little comment. I'm getting shot at right now. I mean, I would, yeah, I mean, I'd probably be like a, I'd probably be mopping and shit. I don't think I'd be in. Like you shooting guns and stuff. Her an only child. What's that oh. Her an only child, oh yeah, I'm an only child, so I wouldn't get drafted. See, that's the thing is, uh, technically, I would be the one to get drafted if there was a draft to go on because I'm the younger one. The older one. Then the younger ones get drafted. No, I think it's the first firstborns are the ones that don't get drafted or something like that. Or maybe it's the younger one. As long as there's two. Now, if you're a single son in a family, you can't be drafted either because you're the only one who can carry on your lineage technically. Yo, that would be crazy, dude. If there was a draft and like everyone was drafted except for me, that would be crazy. <laughs> but you know, that wouldn't be that bad because that would mean if I was single, there'd be more girls for me. Indeed, my man. If girls don't get drafted, right? And then you can create your premium, and then all the girls would be on that, too. That's right, bro! Ooh. Yo, gang shit, if there's a war, I'm gonna make a Snapchat premium, bro, because all the dudes are gonna be busy fighting. I'm gonna be back home. Every dude who's been drafted is gonna Ice hate my ass. Channel. Ice is war channel. That's what I would say, bro. They would hate... All the guys in America would hate me, though. They'd be like, who's this motherfucker who didn't get drafted? Man, I'm shit on my car. Actually, that would be bad. All my viewers would just get drafted. That's true. Actually, never mind. I said all my viewers would just get drafted. Well, I mean, you still got the women. That's the whole. That's what you're getting at right now. Hey, hey 50 viewer hype. Let's go. 50 viewer hype. All right, so like we'll just park somewhere over near 6, and then uh, we'll just pray to God there's some people out right so now. So you have to help me out a little bit here because uh, it is a little chilly, too. You didn't bring a jacket, did you? Yeah, it's, not that, it's not that cold. I'll help you out with what? Uh... Where we're at right now, I don't go down to six month. I, I, oh I yeah, so take a to right left. So take a left and go down that road right there. Oh, so go right, right quick. Uh, yeah, so right and then left immediately. Cool. How to buy some gum? I can't talk to the women with some stanky ass breath, you know. Nah, I mean I feel it, dude. I mean your breath was fine though. I appreciate that. But I mean, yo, gang shit, fuck. It. I think girls like stinky breath. Oh no. You know? Because it reminds them of when they don't take a shower, and it reminds them to be clean. That's fair. I mean, I like when a girl smells like shit when they talk to me. Yeah? Yeah, because it reminds me... So you like that, like, like you like the morning breath and shit like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, because they remind... I love making out with a girl with morning breath because it, it just it reminds me of, like, I don't know, my, the good times when I was a child because I didn't brush my teeth when I was a kid. So it's like, I just it reminds me of my fucking childhood and I'm like, wow, those were really fun times. And then motherfucking ass, when a girl stinks and, and smells like shit too, I really like it because it makes me feel like... I don't know, like, I'm the clean one. Okay, let's be real. The army doesn't want okay, overweight basement, basement dwellers. Your viewership will be fine. <laughs> okay, buddy. Damn! Because, like, I sometimes I do, like, uh... Sometimes, like, I like I don't shower, like, very often. Because I don't smell bad. You don't have that smell, that natural uh, BO? No, I don't sweat and I don't really smell. So I don't really shower that much. So when a girl smells, it makes me feel better about myself. Okay. I can't say the same. But my I took, girl... I took two showers today. Two showers? See, that's crazy to me. Well, you gotta think. So, I usually wake up in the morning, and that's, like, my thing is kind of getting awake. Because I'll, I'll go in the shower and take a quick shower. And then I had jujitsu uh, practice this morning before I went to work. So, after that, I left super sweaty, and I had to go take a shower before I went to work. Bro, if I took two showers a day, my skin would be dry. Gangster, you, you remind me of good old dice. Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. No, Kimberly does not smell, chat, okay? Kimberly is very, very clean, okay? But I'm talking about other times, okay? Other girls, other times. Kimberly smells really good because I like, like, I prefer her to smell good because she's my girlfriend, so it's different. And honestly, she's, like, super OCD, so she can, she has to shower, like, four times a day. I'm the one who's... I'm the dirty one in the relationship, 100%, bro. At least you own it, like, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not... I don't care, dude. And you know what I tell the viewers? Like, bro, if a dirty-ass person like me can still get laid, then anyone can get laid. Yeah. Like, bro, I de bro I, I've, I've gotten with a girl when I had motherfucking-ass tar on my penis. Oh, God. Poor girl. So I did this one... I did this one stream a long time ago where I... In a garage, and I had nurse tar and feathers, 
and I had tar all over my body. No and joke, later that you day, I went to a birthday party. I'm going to see how far I can go. Bro, it's I mean, you can go two weeks before you start smelling like shit. <laughs> but, bro, 100%, I remember I did that tar stream. Then I went to my friend's <laughs> birthday party later that day. And Asian Annie's birthday party. And uh, I got with a girl there. And uh, I had tar all over me still. My entire dick had the tar. Schlong? My entire dick had black tar on it. And she still got with me. And I didn't give a fuck. I warned she her. Because I, I was like that black tar hair or some shit. And no. <laughs> she was just like, what's that? And I said, that's tar. She's like, why do you got tar in your dick? And I said, I was doing a stream. And she's like, okay. And then she still got with me. So I don't know if she was really like trying to get that clout and she was doing anything for the clout or if she was really like just fucking with me and liked me and like was like, fuck the tar. I don't care. Fuck it. She's but too, I, I, she's too ready to go. That tar smelled like shit, bro. So that shit, it smelled like shit. It tastes like shit. I don't know how she did it, bro. Realistically. I was laughing, bro. I was like, I can't believe you're doing this right now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That's crazy. It was great with you? Nah, it was back in Asian Andy's birthday party a long, long time ago. I'm not going to tell you who it was, clearly, but it was just some random girl. What was it? Uh, Alright, so we got to park anywhere here. This is where you want to park here? Just anywhere, yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's see well, that's that museum. I just, there's a thing I saw on Instagram that I looks. <laughs> So if you take a right here, I think there's a garage. Oh, well, not right now. Okay, now we can. But yeah, so oh, no, no, that's one way. Right there. So it show it just shows that like girls don't care about hygiene or cleanliness. In my experience at least. Have you ever been with a girl when you smelled like shit? Yeah. Uh -huh. After I got out of practice one day, I, uh, actually a couple times, um, can I go right here? No, it's one way. Uh, after practice one time, I've, or not one time, but a few times, like I said, but, uh, I would leave practice super sweaty from, like, you know, fighting and doing jiu-jitsu and stuff like that, and call a girl and say, hey, I'm heading back to the house, and she'd come over, and before I fucking even got a shower, um, we're getting it on, and then... I ended up showing afterwards because you know that, but I she didn't. Her. She didn't care. She liked the smell. Dude, she actually was like, "It's kind of hot that you're sweating." I, I was like, "All right, cool." I smelled like shit. I could smell myself because when you know I took my shirt off, I could smell the sweat straight off. And I was like, "Oh god." She said that's hot. She said it was hot as fuck. Bro, what a freak, bro. Uh, I mean, I guess it's like the hormones or, or like the pheromones or something. I, I couldn't tell you. Could not tell you. But she was like, she was super into it. She even told me she's like, "Don't shower yet," and I was like, "Okay." Like when she got to the house, she's, I was like, I'm going to go take a shower quick. She's like, no, you don't need to. Literally, I was like, oh, okay. Cool. Works for me. That's crazy, dude. What the fuck? Shit happens, man. Li live a weird life sometimes, you know? Like, the other night, going to bomb sales just to watch Super Bowl. Now look at me. Coming to streamer. Why would... No, dude, a lot of people are saying that you're lying because no girl would fuck a sweaty guy. But I, I disagree. Like, girls would what? fuck a sweaty guy. So, like, so so what's your logic on why a girl wouldn't fuck a sweaty guy? Because girls say all the time that, look at, at like, you know, when she's watching TV or a girl's watching a uh, football game or something like that, right? Yeah, right. Watching a football game and she sees a guy on TV and, like, Brett Favre or something, she's like, damn, he's fine. Well, when he's playing a football game, you think he's, like, all jolly and smelling like dove and shit? Or you think he smells like sweating balls? Am I wrong? Yeah, I mean, that's true. Girls would, I mean, I think, it's not that hard to believe that girls would have sex with a sweaty-ass dude. I'm like, not saying you're saying every single girl's like, oh, I'm going to climb your dick because you're sweaty. But there are some girls out there that like it. Like, they're, the fetishes in this world are weird. And so, some girls like it when a guy's sweaty, you know? Some girls like pegging. Things of that nature. Like, it's a bunch of weird shit. Pegging, dude. Yeah, I've had that. Really? Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I've done it all. You can park anywhere. Like, there's one right here. Oh, I thought that said no. Oh, maybe it did. I don't know. But yeah, six is like right here, so we'll just park, we'll park anywhere. Here. No, I'm just kidding. I've never done pagan, bro. Oh, that's like, please don't do that. I've, I've never had anything. Oh, I had a, no, I've never had that, well, a peg in my butt. I've had like, you know, like, like girls eat ass and shit, but. What does it say? Pay. 
Yeah, I think there's a parking like, meter there. All right, cool. I'll pay right quick. All right, so death scene's on six, so we should beat him up over there. All right. Oh, it is kind of chilly, but it's not, big, it's not that bad. All righty. All right, let's see what's going on tonight. Hopefully, we can find some people and uh, I got a in the car if you want it. show up your skills. What? I got a hoodie in the car if you want it. Oh yeah, that'd be good. It's actually more chilly than I thought. Yeah. Ready for this? All right, where is it in the back seat? Oh okay. Always prepared. What? What? This is the big ass jugs of water back there. Oh okay. He's got jugs of water, perfect dude. All right, what do we got here? We got the jacket, perfect. He's always prepared with everything. Woman prefer a man's natural scent over deodorant. It's called pheromones. That's what I thought too, 100% dude. Oh, that's my favorite hoodie. What's so good about it? Read it. Woman prefer a man's natural scent over deodorant. Fuck cancer. It is called Fuck deodorant. cancer, hey, I fuck with it dude. It is called pheromones. All right, let me, uh... One second, let me put this jacket on, guys. Oh, it smells good. Cool. Not gonna lie, I can... Ooh. Okay, I understand, no but I understand the, uh, my girls will get with a sweaty, oh, my God. what did it say? No charge parking period. No charge parking. No charge parking period. It might be free, at, at, like after six or something. I don't fucking know, though. I mean, these people don't have some of their thing. Oh, here you go. What's today, Tuesday? Tuesday, yeah. Oh yeah, Monday to 6 p.m. Monday, Tuesday. So it's free now. It's free now. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yo. Let's grab another hoodie. Look, this one looks silly. F U. Oh shit. It says F U C X. Yeah. It's fuck. C X means cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny, dude? That's crazy, dude. That's so. That's that's such a that's a funny a funny interesting coincidence. Cause CX is my yeah, is thing. my my brand, dude. So that's funny as shit. What, Dan? CX means cancer, Dan. I fucked up. I no, fuck, no. I fucked up, bro. Making no, that no, my no, thing. No, no, it's not CX. It's CK. It's CK. It's oh, it's CK. It's F U C K. Fuck. So it's saying fuck cancer. Oh, it's a ribbon, like the cancer yeah, ribbon. Yeah, it's a cancer ribbon. Oh, now I see it. CK. Okay, that makes sense. It's the same thing on your arm too. That's true. I just said, look. That's so funny, though. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. I mean, it depends if there's nobody out tonight, it's gonna suck. If there's people out, then we're gonna have a good time and be able to convince these women. From what direction? That sounds uh, I thought you said sketchy. Different. <laughs> that sounds sketchy, bro. Okay. No, we don't need to convince women. They they need to convince us to get with them. Is that under Genie? Is that your uh, boomer thing? I think, there's gonna, I think it's gonna be a boomer night, though. Okay, boomer night? I think it's gonna be a boomer. You know what a boomer is? Bad night? No, a boomer, like an old man. Oh. Like an old people night. Oh, yeah. It's like the OK Boomer comment then, yeah. Yeah, like OK Boomer, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was just saying. You're like, no. And I was like, wait, what? You have a lot to learn with internet culture, huh? I guess we're going to learn, guys. It's oh. all a learning experience. Oh, don't worry. I'm the person to teach you. That's it, man. I know I know it all. There Is this the new Gary? No, he's his own person. That's a suburban, all right. So you're, you're going to meet Gary one day. And he's a he's a nice guy, but he uh, I don't know I he I like Gary a lot, but he he just needs to move to Austin, bro. He lives in L.A. Is that the guy that you're talking about with the last night on the being a server? No, that's Moises. Oh, okay. Yeah, Moises is a server. Gary is a producer. Oh. And we they call him the reducer because he uh, sometimes he reduces content by oh. not by not doing things. Oh. But realistically, uh, he. Ah, he doesn't really need to do anything. That's not a big deal. He's, he's not really a reducer. We just say that because it's funny. 
What's the code? Oh, yeah. Good evening, man. You too, bro. Yo. All right, so we just got one more street down. He's a thousand percent reducer. No, he's not a reducer. It's fine. You guys excited for this? Yo, I mean, like I said, there's people out. Then we're gonna see what's up. So. Oh, did you bring the selfie stick or no? Oh, you had a phone one? No, I oh. forgot it. Oh fuck! So I'm gonna be like this all night long. I mean, we can buy one real quick, dude, for like five dollars at the gas station, or you just gotta just hold it. That's fair. For like a little bit, not a big deal. You ever try to stream and scooter at the same time? Yeah, dude, I ran into somebody. <laughs> and I fucking, uh, so I never again after that. Like, I can't even drive scooters without a stream, let alone with the fucking stream. It was actually on the news. Because I hit someone with the scooter and they put it on the news. What? Yeah, I mean, I didn't kill the guy or anything, but. What, streamer, it was, streamer it was, runs into somebody? It was like a news article about how bird scooters suck. And they <laughs> used my footage of me running into somebody as like the evidence that this guy is a bird scooter rider this is not out of the ordinary bird scooter riders are a danger to society oh my god and I was like damn son people are screwed these days so let's see I gotta turn this off to where it's uh popping up on my screen what is it? my notifications are on that's just so they don't scroll down while I'm uh streaming My beard is looking strong. Yo, thank you, Calix. All right, so here we are. So let's see yeah, what we can find. For, uh, for what? For facial hair, guys. Facial hair is not a thing that works on me. Why? Have you grown it before? I've attempted to on multiple occasions, and it's just not something that's uh, ever succeeded. Doesn't look good? In my jeans. It's, uh, it's a very splotchy thing. Yeah, my, my beard is hella splotchy, too. So I don't really like it, but I mean, I think it depends. My barber this week did a good job. All right, so here we are. So, so now we, six. so we have to find people. But unfortunately, on a Tuesday, we need to find dead it's, it's not very lit. Get dead so we need to record. Oh yeah, oh, dead scene. You, where are you at, bro? Yeah, this. So I mean, ah, dude, we're it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a rough night. Got some skateboarders up here. That's true, but all right, even if we don't find girls. Let's just talk to random people, yeah. and I'm gonna let you initiate the conversation, and let's see what kind of conversations you can have with these random ass people. All right, well, let's find Dad first. So we can get a recorder. Well, I could do it in the meantime. I do it all. Oh, shit. Hold on. What's up, man? Yeah, Austin uh, is great on the weekend, chat, but on the weekdays, it, uh, it is, if, we have, if, we, if you don't have, like, objectives to do, it's kind of harder. You gotta just kind of go out with your own kind of little group and That's, just yeah, you gotta, make your own thing going on. Really. You, gotta, you gotta find your group of people. Oh, that's the new Bijou Lounge that I heard about, yeah. Oh, is that a nice place? You wanna? No, I just I've seen it like on a. Uh, He's fucking good. Oh, you wanna check it out? I see some girls in there. Not really. It was dead to fuck. I saw a couple in there. But I it, saw like three people sitting on a bar. <laughs> they looked like they were all girls though. So we could check. We could try it out. Let's uh, let's cross the street and let's try it out. Let's see who's there. Damn. So what do you normally hit up when you come out here? What do I hit up? Yeah. Uh, well, I usually only come out here on the weekends, so there's actually yeah. people. So on the weekdays, I, on the weekdays I don't usually uh, come out here. I usually go out with a group, and we yeah. do do we do whatever, you know. Makes sense. I mean, yeah. Three dollars a head for beer tonight. Free ice cream. Alright, we're gonna go inside this uh, this one lounge and see how it looks. Bring your vlog into my. I almost said jam. It's my vlog. <laughs> Come on in. We got $3 drinks. No, no, it's okay, dude. I, yeah, dude, fucking, it's Tuesday, dude. Tuesday, man. Yeah, free ice, dude. That's great. <laughs> what did Desi say? Who's that? Uh, he said he's on his way over here. No, exactly. But that's, the exact, that's why he got mad, though, and I was like, bro.
with it. Let's Give a little shout out. We can put a little uh, Instagram handle. Do you think you want a little shout out to be on there for it? Oh, yeah. You want followers on Instagram? I, I do have some. And it's also a paid gig, by the way. Talking is not dating, and this is just. Okay, this is for just like a little fun show. show me that it's better than his dick, then okay. Oh, so it's going to be a I mean, I that, that's all you, bro. We date? Well, so, you got a, a date? Yeah, so the winner, the winner of the bachelor. on The Bachelor for the show. She got loaded off the side thing. This side doesn't have a friend. So, okay. And so the best thing about all of y'all coming is that y'all are all friends. So it's not like you'll be meeting with a bunch of strangers. You'll all be in a comfortable little setting with everything. That's the fun part about it. There you go. All y'all come and do it? I'm telling you right now. You're all together. That way it's not like you're by yourself. I am happy with the gift that I am receiving. More baby gifts. Less baby Listen, my boy Stevie G, nah. he could be the one. Nah. He could be the one. <laughs> Damn. All right, well, well, she was, but she said she's single though, so she might. I don't know what she said. She might be. She might do with it, right? Viewers hate them all? Oh my god. I don't know why. Alrighty. Well, I guess we're just gonna leave then. If, unless your friend wants to do it. No, she ain't one of me. No, we're not we're not trying to. There's no dick, it's just a no dick. No, it's a bachelor thing that we're holding. It's not like you're gonna be like living in a house. Like I'm just saying my man. What with five other chicks? Yeah, there's like a couple girls and you're fighting no, for one why? man's love. Why? Why? It's fun. Why? That's not fun. Why not? I don't fight with bitches over dick. Why would I do why would I why would I do that? I, I mean it's not about I'm having a big man. it's not about getting the dick. Nah, it's about it. having fun with nah. other girls. I don't do that. It's, it's about being on a show. It's a it's a it's a show. I don't need that. It's a show. It's not about getting dick. All right. I mean, shit. Damn, that's crazy. She don't want to fight with no other girls. Bro, you want a guy to get right with you. I want you. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Paul, nice to meet you. I like your I like your style. You don't fight with no one. You got good energy. I really I really hate. Scrapper on the show. Yo, I really hate that you have a boyfriend because you would be the star. Yeah. Like, you got a good attitude. And, I mean, I feel like if you guys were all competing against each other, she would shine. She'd be like, I ain't fighting with no one. I'm going to come on top. You're going to get with me. Fuck all these other girls. She's just going to hang out with y'all just to make sure that she did it. Because as an artwork, she's competing for the dick. So she's going to be like, I'm getting this fucking dick. We'll leave you guys alone then. Thanks for chatting with us. Bye bye. He was a bachelor. Look at this man. He's hot. She said, "Let me see the dick." You could have won it. You could have won it. Hey, bro. She asked. She got a boy, a boyfriend. She asked him for dick. She said, "Let me see the dick." Or I'll go in the back and show it to her. These hoes ain't loyal. If I was you, I would have been like, all right, let's go to the back right now. <laughs> no, I don't, I, bro. All right, I can see why the chat was like off putting to them. They were hella uptight. They were hella uptight. That's crazy. Like, I'm just, we're just trying to, and con, we're, we were just trying to convince them about a show. It's right. not even about getting dick, it's about a show. And they were like, I don't want to fight Wait, with no girls. Wait, this way? Uh, yeah, let's this go. Is back, this is back to the car. Let's go back this way. Hey. That's crazy. It kind of sucks that they had boyfriends, though, because I think we could have convinced them if they were more single. For sure. Because I think the single ones didn't want to do it because the... The, the friends are like, oh, I got a boyfriend, and so they're like, oh. It, it's like a pack oh. mentality, you know? Yeah. 
You can definitely tell uh, that uh, Jessica was that pack leader by far. Oh, yeah. For sure. But uh, you did pretty good, though. How do you guys think he did during that? I mean, that was a hard situation. Those girls were not pushing. So I think you did, I think that was pretty I mean, good. I, thought, I didn't think it was a bad idea. A little bad and a little gross. I told you. No smooth on or anything like that. Just no, uh, all right I, I think that was a rare find four girls four. by themselves that was a rare find so now we're finding another <laughs> couple girls might be hard but we'll see nah. <laughs> good but so when good but went in straight for the kill should try and start a combo first oh yeah that's a good point when the first words out of our mouth was about the bachelor we went straight in for the kill maybe we should they said they were doing pretty well and i was like can i talk to them about a little bit of the fence? that's where i started but i, I think we uh Maybe we should come in with a more like laid back approach. Okay, so how do you think we should approach this like we should, we should while we're holding a camera in our hand? I'll just say we're, <laughs> we're doing a live stream. Can we talk to you ladies? Yeah. And then we just have a conversation. We talk to them for a little bit first, and then we uh, we say the idea. Okay, let's do that. So I think I think if we would have done that, it would have worked for us a lot easier there. So I think what it did, I think what it was when we come out off the bat, when we come off the bat saying we're doing an event, I think they gives them too much power. Do you see we got a silver stick in here? Oh yeah. We don't want to give the girls that much power because then they can just say no to us. If we have all the power in the conversation, they will not say no. They haven't? Oh, right here. Oh, perfect. No, no, this side. Chapstick. Help me out. You are looking for the chapstick? No, not chapstick. A selfie stick, like. Oh. <laughs> Somebody can hold mm -hmm. Bro, it's not manipulation, oh, okay. chat. It's about yeah. conversation in your favor. What's up? I, I was saying when we approach the girls, if we talk about the bachelor straight off the bat, it looks like we need a favor and it puts the power in, in their hands. Bam. Oh, you're right. And we don't want to give the power, power to their power. in their hands. We want to have the power. Okay. This one is 49 and this one is 9. This one is this one, this one is big. Uh, what's this? Can I just kind of look at it? You already ordered one, right? You should just get the yeah. small one. Yeah. Hot pink one, yeah. That's where Lunar bought the charger? Perfect. This will work. Yeah. Yeah. 6, 9, 9, plus 7. I think he'll do good as a streamer, realistically. He seems like uh, very confident when he has a conversation with people. That's a good sign. Yo. Hey, uh, I just thought about you. What? I have the new iPhone, so... Hey, guys. What's up, buddy? What are you Uh, we're just live streamers. Like what? Yeah, we're just live streamers. I need freestyle rap. You want to do this one? I need freestyle rap. Freestyle? Yeah. I mean, if you want to freestyle, go for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. My name is Daniel. What's your name? Daniel, I'm Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Ice. Uh, uh, Paul. I'm all my friend now is got to you. Like it 100%. Give it a 10. You can make a donation. If you like it all, it's great. I mean, I don't have any cash on me. Okay, let's see what you got. All right. You deal? You like it? Yeah, yeah, let's see what you got. You have cash on you? Yeah, I got a little cash okay. on me. All right. Huh? I don't know about 20, but we'll see what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about 20. Uh, okay. Here you go. It's your boy D Block from New York City. I'm a freestyle king, just like P. Diddy. I got the motherfucking funk music for the haters. I'm a music grand rapper and a motherfucking guy. I can see you just catch haters sitting on the damn side. You got the PlayStation, we got a PlayStation 2. 
We got a Cadillac, it's going to be Hollis. We were huge sexy, baby, we were ready to live it. We want to jump on the mic, we're going to keep on rapping. Do some freestyle thing, just keep on capping. Okay, then, yeah. okay, okay. I yeah. see you spitting a little yeah. bit over yeah. here. Yeah. All right, Those all right. were some bars. Yeah, I see well, you. He's, he's, got, he's got bars on him, he's got bars. I'll push him over here, bud. How much is that rap worth? I'll give, give him 10, man, bro. Thank you, bro. Damn, yeah. I gave him a 10, I gave bro. 10. I gave him a 10. Yeah, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, man. Bro, you got you got straight hustled. Nah. Or I mean, maybe not, because you probably knew. Ten, bro, I've been living in Austin for a long time, man. Ten dollars? That's a bro. That dude's eating good tonight. Because he sees a camera, he's like, I'm yeah. just gonna do some whatever the fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna get ten dollars. <laughs> but on the spot, he came up with some bars, you know, like. Bro, I, was, I didn't even. What, I didn't even know a word he said. What are you talking about? Hey, but fuck it, dude. Fuck it. Hey, we got fucking Sean over here showing his, I don't know, like, uh, his sharingness. All right, so with all that said, fucking, we got to find more right. girls. So, what I was saying is, uh, we're going to need a, one of the pieces that goes with my iPhone. Oh, no, you don't need that. This? Yeah, you don't need to plug that in. Just put the phone on the stick. Oh, that's right, yeah. You don't need to plug it in. Too. All right, we're gonna have to look inside these bars and find, that's try to find. Up. Yo, you see any any girls around tonight? Um, I mean it's a little early. Yeah, that's what I was thinking they're, they're too. They're still at home getting ready. <laughs> I mean it's a Tuesday. If they're not out by now, they're not coming out. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's usually like tourists and alcoholics on Tuesdays. <laughs> tourists and alcoholics. Dude. Hey, fuck it, dude. Hey, fuck it, man. Hey, bro. Hey, hey, any idea? Oh, We're live streamers. On, on Mixer, nice. live streamer. Do you have any ideas of where the girls would be hanging out at right now? Um, maybe like a block or two that way. Well, we just went down there, and the best thing we saw was that was you lounge, but there wasn't really anything in there. It was like three girls. It's still, it's still early, yeah. man. Like, it's not even nice. Yeah. So, I mean, around 10 You got Beerus, huh? Oh, hell yeah, bro. You got Beerus on the phone. <laughs> yeah, you already know, Yes. Dog. Yeah, I got next video. It's my bad. Right, here we go. Hey, shout out to this man. Hey, all right. Well, I realistically, I think our, I think our best bet would be we wait at we wait at a lounge somewhere. We wait at a bar somewhere, and that when they walk in, we say what's up. Go grab a drink. Oh yeah, they walk in. Let me buy you a drink. We got a bachelor going on. Hey, that sounds good. We're trying to do a bachelor event, so we need to pick up. A, we need to recruit a couple girls. Yeah, we're trying to pick up about 10, 12 girls. Like, not just tonight, but like, oh, over time. We're doing this yeah. in like a few weeks, so we're gonna get a house, rent it out, and do a, like a little event there, kind of throw a little party with it. Oh, about 10 or 12 girls are gonna get in there. Three guys. No, we don't know who the bachelors no, are yet. No, bachelors we're... are gonna be a random selection. We've already got a pick, but we don't know who we're gonna, we can not announce the bachelors, basically. Somebody actually gonna get married? Though? No, it's not. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. It's, it's a game like a show. Little game, little game show. Oh, nice. Game. Yeah. 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 Just like, you know, for the live feed, do an in real life thing, kind of. We try to do events every few weeks to kind of spice it up a little bit. <laughs> Wait, were you watching porn, bro? No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I hear he's like, I got next video on y'all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Somebody pointed out you had porn on your phone. Hey, fuck it, bro. Look. Hey, fuck hey, it. Hey, I feel that shit. Hey, fuck it, dude. How do I? Fuck it, right? <laughs> my, <laughs> my man. Oh, this shit. Oh, this shit. What do we do? Thank you, Chaplin. Nothing going up right now, so. No, and that's not. Not yet. But yeah, any suggestions, bro, where, where these girls at? Uh, I would go to Jackalope, bro. Jackalope? Yeah. Right. Specifically, yeah. We won't say that you are, uh, you know, uh, promoting, promoting another bar, another bar <laughs> establishment <laughs> on Sixth Street. Hey, it's all good. But, uh, <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go let's check go it check out. It. Yeah, yeah. Where is it at? Yeah, how do I follow you? What is it? Oh, Ice Poseidon on Mixer. And then Mixer. What is it called? Ice Poseidon. Ice Poseidon. Just Google that. You'll see my, my you'll see my mixer, my YouTube, everything. But I'm streaming on Mixer right now. Oh, cool! I'm gonna follow you right now. Oh hell yeah! You ever heard of Mixer? No, I'm gonna download it. Do you have to pay or what? No, it's free. Yeah. 100. Uh, percent And if you send 5,000 embers, then you get free women to come to your house. Hey, let's do it. I, I don't know how much that costs in uh, U.S. dollars. Yeah, like 50 dollars. Hey, I see you on there. Oh, there you go, gang shit. Yeah. Hey, oh, that's me, yeah, yeah. right there. That, that's my, that was me when I was in L.A. I uh, took that photo. I got paid $5 million. <laughs> For real? To do that. That's a cover photo of Rolling Stones. Is 
crazy, really. It's fucking legit. A hundred percent, dude. It's fucking legit. No, that, it's not fucking I was legit. also on Forbes magazine, thirty under thirty. Oh, right. Stop. Hell no, man. Oh, I'm gonna call you YouTube. How about that? Oh, we don't usually use YouTube. Y'all don't use it? Not no more. Okay. We switched it over to Mixer. Yeah. This is the new up and coming thing, and so we're gonna take over the platform, basically. Oh, cool. Mixer? Yeah. M I X E R. M I X E R. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna download it. Hell yeah. Hey. I'm going to follow what y'all are doing tonight. I'll Another customer on Mixer. Hey, shout out to you, bro. Yeah, cool. We'll see you later. You what? You were lying like a Oh, no. I mean, yeah. Fuck it, dude. 30 under 30, right? Hey, you got to lie to get places sometimes. All right, he said Jackalos? What the fuck is that? Jackalos is right down here. I saw it earlier. <laughs> Say woman, not girl. Sounds so suspect around strangers. No women actually on a Tuesday unless they scuffed or alcoholic. I don't know. We found those four girls. They weren't scuffed. I mean, they were pretty, like, nice looking, so. Paul's definition of game and getting girls is basically to be a manipulator. Chad, don't listen to Paul's advice. He has no game. If you listen to him, you're going to end up alone at the end of the night. No girls. Just less gas in the car tank. Listen, buddy. Damn. I just put that in there. Bro, I have. Listen, buddy, I have game. Yeah, this may not be a spot. Bro, this man said I had no game. Hey, shout out to you, Jumping Bunny. Thank you, bro. Alright, we're gonna have to just. Uh, we're gonna. Somewhere, we're just gonna have to. Fuck. You said it's down here, Jack Lowe's? We're gonna have to just, like. Wait, I, I spy my little eye. Th two girls on the roof of that bar. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I, I, Shakespeare? On the, yeah. Shh, All right, let's, shh, I spot the beach. Let's go. All right, let's go. Over, we're over here. Well, watch out. I'm not, I'm not across. I hope this doesn't, like, come off as creepy. What? Like I spy two girls. Let's go over there. I don't know. No, I left it in the car. I can't let you in without an ID. I got a photo of it. I can't let you in without a solid ID. It's TABC law. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel it. I fucked up, dude. I, I, left, I, it, I left it in Kimberly's car. How the fuck do you fucking do this? All right, this is your time to shine, baby. You take the stream. <laughs> the two girls, I'll just be right outside staring at you from the, across the run, crossway. You got to do it. You got to reel right. them in, bro. All right, we're going to get this. You got to reel them in. You got my in. ID, so... What up? Hey, hold on. Here. You gotta reel him in, bro. I'll talk to my brother right quick. What's up? So he's on the phone with my brother right now. How you doing? And then uh, I'm gonna pull up the chat so I can keep up with you guys for a second. I don't know. What are you up to? So I guess we're gonna try and get Giga Chad down here. We're gonna see what's what going on. Here, I'm on uh, Ice's phone right now. Oh, yeah, are you watching right now? The training wheels are off. He is not clapping at Grim's oh, cheeks. Oh, yeah, you're just talking to me. He wants, he wants to talk to you. All right, well, here. Let me pass y'all back over to Paul right quick. Yo, what up, buddy? All right. Is he going to be able to pull these right. girls in by himself without me? Me looking scuffed as fuck? I think he will. Uh, Digger Ch Chad looking, at, looking out. He's like, where y'all at? Oh, yeah. What? If he came, it'd be game over. It'd be too easy. I'm going to stare at him from across the street, and I hope he does well. I'll be watching. What do you say? Uh, he just got off of work, so he's gonna go home and change and some stuff right quick. Alright. So let me pull you up right quick so I can look at this Chad. Chad? 
All right. It's your time, bro. You know where they are, right? You saw them? Yeah, they're up there. All right. You got this, bro. All right, guys. So I got you on the chat now. My Remember, deal. camera angles, content, chat. Chat. That's it. All right, guys. We're going in. The Royal Ranger. <laughs> All right, guys. So right now, we spotted two girls in this booth up here. And so we're going to go and check them out and see what's going on and see if we can get them to join this event. Let's see what happens. Knowing my luck, they probably have moved and I can't even find them anymore because we had to deal with that whole ID thing and then my brother called me. And look at that. They have moved and left the spot. Let me scope up here and see if there's anything else going on up here right now. Maybe anybody else is up here. No, they ain't got nothing going on up here. So it looks like we're gonna go back downstairs, go meet up with Ice, and uh, resort to a new plan. This is not a strikeout, by the way. This one doesn't even count. Sorry, I didn't realize I didn't have my phone muted. I got it. They moved. No. They're not there anymore. They left? Yeah, I guess so while we were doing that whole ID thing and everything that they ended up. I don't know, I went up there and there were two beers sitting there and nobody was up there at all. I didn't either, so I, I didn't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, my man. Damn, all right. Nope. No worries. I look like Brad Pitt. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. Thank you, I appreciate you. They sense this coming, all right, I'll take this. We're gonna they have to go to the next one. Damn, that was gonna be your time to shine too. Right? All good. Yeah, they were. They weren't they were in the back or nothing. No, dude. I walked around the whole place and couldn't find them. There was another bar, up there, like a huge open room, and there's nobody in there at all. Shit. All right. <laughs> Chicken Andy's on the way. That's some other guy. I mean, I didn't see no one in come the out. They're in the bathroom doing nose candy. No, no, they probably are in the bathroom. I didn't see anyone come out, but it's all good. We'll find some other. We'll find other ones. Other people. Uh, we we're running, we we're running out of options here. I think it's just a little early in the night, man. As well, I shouldn't say early. I don't think anybody's out. Like it's gonna be a late night kind of deal for people to come out and start. What about this purple bar? I see three. I don't know what they. They look a little bit older though. Whatever. Let's uh, let's go to this purple bar. Let's, let's see what we'll walk by. Yeah. yeah, what's up, bro? Damn, dude, there's a lot of girl, there's a lot of girls older. Chad's ID. Wait, you said they say you left your ID. You got your ID? I got my ID. My ID's uh, I give it right back to me. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Oh, that's not a that's a guy with long hair. Shit. Damn. So, ah, dude, fuck. No, no, I got my ID, guys. I appreciate it, though. All right, so that was a guy, and all, there's a lot of older girls out. Dude, what's, what's, it's a boomer what's night. Boomer, bro? I'm telling you, it's a, it's a boomer night, dude. It's like, uh, this is like... Not that I'm anything wrong with the older women, but... Uh, I they're just want, not going to, they're I not, just, they're not going to fuck with yeah, it. Yeah, they're just not, it's just not going to float, float, float the little idea with it. Hello. Oh, How you doing? Can hey. I ask you a question? Yeah, what's up? Are you out here by yourself? Smoking. So, how are you doing, by the way? We're live streaming. We're both live streamers on Mixer. Uh, kind of doing a whole new uh, scenario thing. We're trying to do like, a new video recording thing. Just kind of meet people on Mixer and just talking to them and things of that nature. Just spotted you, so you're by yourself. <laughs> See, here's friends tonight or anything like that. What's no, going? my mom's going to spot me down here, though. No, real? Oh, perfect. <laughs> perfect. Why? Right, what's up? What so, I'm trying to get into, though? Nothing right now, but what we're trying to do right now is so in a couple of weeks we're actually going to be uh, renting a house here in Austin and we're putting on an event called the Bachelor's Event. And we're trying to get about 10 to 12 girls and they're going to be competing for basically the love of the guy. Except the catch to it all, the catch to the thing though is that there's going to be three of them. You're already out? I'm out. 
Why are we out? Oh, fuck love. I'm good. Y'all have no, 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 no. No, she's not looking for love, bro. There ain't no love. No love. There ain't no love. There ain't no love. love like, oh, they're going to go get married. Oh, no, but it's not even it about like the love. We've been together for weeks and shit at the time. It's a one, not even a day event. Just a little live stream thing that we're going to be putting on. Just kind of like we do events every few weeks of just random shit. And so this is our new thing that the, me and the team, the rest of the team came up with. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I don't fuck with men like that. What you mean? Huh? What you mean by that? Men suck dick. Well, no one said you were sucking dick. You're just going to be entertaining the crowd. Hey, I'm sucking dick, motherfucker. All I said is men suck dick. Oh, men suck dick. I mean, you're right. But I mean, you got to realize, though, it's going to be a bunch of laughing and jokes and comments and things of that nature. Yeah. Well, we've got to, we're going to find the house first, but right now we're trying to get the crew together before we go out and try to rent an Airbnb for it. Come back around 11.30. 11.30? Yeah, baby, that's when it's popping up. Got so two you, and a half hours to that one going So what, it's not about love, it's just about it. It's like a game show, it's about fun. Oh. You want to so, have like, fun? Like, you ever seen the show, like, <laughs> like, next back in the day? I know you don't like men, but I mean... <laughs> I mean, I love men, I just don't like... Women. You know, Steve and, G, Steve and G will treat you well. Uh, I don't it's like... It's all it. fun and games, it ain't nothing serious, I and everybody's trying to get like love. I'll tell you, I'm not down there. No? <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's other bitches around who doesn't have all that. So, what about your homegirl that you said was coming by? She bring her man, so I don't know. I feel like you can get a laugh of it. <laughs> bro, Stevie G, you got to chill, bro. You got you can't say that. <laughs> What's wrong? What? No. <laughs> Damn, you know where we can find some girls? Yeah, wait until 11.30. You'll see plenty of them, baby. On a Tuesday? Taco Tuesday. Bye, we'll oh, yeah. Taco Tuesday. It, it, is, it is Taco, Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> All right, well, see All you right. later. All right, we'll catch you later. Next time. Bro, I did not like when she did the. She like pulled her fucking shirt. Yeah, that was awkward. She, she almost showed a titty. Yeah, I think that she was standing. She's like, oh, there. Yeah, that's She almost showed a titty. What, that, what, what, that had me nervous that we had to walk away from that. What was that? What was Stevie G saying? Stevie G was saying no. Oh. And I'm like, come on, just like, just. Hey, no. Steve, hey, bro, look. We're, we said we're getting 10 to 12. We didn't say they all were going to be like that. We just. We just found I mean, she wasn't bad. I don't know. She wasn't that. She wasn't bad. Like, I don't know. But either way. Listen, li, 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 listen, Stevie G, you can't, you can't sit here and be picky, all right? But you know, she scared the fuck out of me when she put her. That scared the fuck out of me, dude. All right, let's see. Yeah, I mean, the, the person who donated, actually, I think they're right. What? Anyone who's gonna be out right now is gonna be, you know, maybe not quality. <laughs> But I mean, it is a Tuesday. If we want to get some, if we want to get some of the sevens and ups, we're gonna have to be here on a week. Imagine that you're gonna find girls at 9 p.m. on a Tuesday, buddy. We have. Imagine listen, it's not even okay. I'm gonna be real with you. I already knew we weren't gonna find anybody. Realistically, find right? It's not about finding people. It's about. Having him have the opportunity yeah. to shine. We're to show y'all that I'm not <clears throat> some guy who's just afraid to talk to somebody or make a joke on him. Yeah, this, this it's is just, it's all fun and games right now. Just like the whole event's gonna be, it's all fun and games. That this is Ain't a, nobody trying to find love. Yeah, this is about him showing off his ability to stream, not about like. I mean, I didn't think we were gonna find anyone realistically because I'm not stupid. On a Tuesday, yeah, it's gonna be rough, but. Let's go inside that place. Which one? I don't know. That one is his casino, oh, and yeah, it's, not, like, it's not. It's not. It's not actually a casino. It's okay, a bar. Okay. But well, yeah, I forgot my fucking. Now never mind. I have. A, Dude, I don't know how you're gonna get anywhere. I, you, I forgot my passport because that's a passport, so it's big. So I forget it places. So I'm fucking stupid. Yeah. I didn't think I needed to remind you about that. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have my ID because I so lost it in Europe. Have to be, I was just walking up and down the street, and that's gonna be hard to do. Not really. Most of these bars don't have people standing outside on a Tuesday, so I can just walk in. Let's go over here. So some of these places over here are more low key, so they maybe like more chiller like environment. Oh yeah, dead scene. Well, he's already here though, and I left it in my in Kimberly's car at the house. So where is it? I have no Our idea. Let's go inside this place. Yeah, I don't have his number either. Realistically, what we're gonna have to do is probably go on Tinder. <laughs> I gotta download Tinder right quick. I mean, 
No, not right now. I'm saying another time. Like realistically, if I'm <laughs> if I'm gonna try and get ten girls for an event, I'm probably gonna a lot of them are probably gonna have to come. They're probably gonna have to come from Tinder or social media. Well, it's not like a Tinder, but like all those ones I was telling you about. Telling you about. I'm grabbing your passport. Okay, good. Or wait till Friday or Saturday. True. True. Wait, what did they say? Oh, this is a tattoo place. Fuck. Dead scene. Dead scene says grab the passport. Don't even worry about it, dead scene. We're probably not going to be out here for much longer because it's dead as fuck. Yeah, like and it's, it's too early to be out here right now. And at this point, it looks like it's a dead shock. Someone suggested go to the. Oh, we go to the university. Like there's people there, even right now. There's probably some people walking around the university, like on the campus. You think? Yeah, there's, there's that that street, Guadalupe. It has all just college kids, and all they because right, their dorms are right next to that street. Yeah, let's go check it out then. Yeah. So they're not gonna be walking around. They're gonna be like eating inside like a restaurant or something. So we have to go and like pull up on them and be like, "Yo, what's up?" Yeah, hey. How about All right. So where'd you park? Uh, I remember seeing that, so I think it's this way and up the hill. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. It is. I think it's over here to the left. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna pull up like creepy style on them eating fucking food. But if we go, to, so there's like cookie shops and like you know like ramen stores and they you know it's it's like super casual places. So if we walk in and we just like sit next to a girl who's like eating ramen, we could be like, "Yo, what's up?" Just go to Chipotle. <laughs> they're all there. <laughs> Yeah, like Chipotle, there's this, there's this one cookie shop that has... He just, said cookie shop, laugh my ass off. Bro, there's always girls at the cookie shop, I swear to God. There's this make a Tinder page for the event. That'd be cool. What do you mean? Make a Tinder like, page? Make a t- like, make a Tinder and we make it for that event. You sure this event. Like, stream for Friday. It's not like Everyone a my at personal Tinder or like Trump your Trump Tinder or something. Because they gotta go to work tomorrow like, morning or school. Not everyone gets to go to sleep at 7 a.m. and wake up. Oh, at yeah, so it's like okay. That we could do that. I don't think we get any real people out. Because that, 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 we get a lot of trollers. That sounds like a scam to like other like to girls. The girls would think it's a scam. Why not have to pay for parking? Trust me, we'll go to the cookie shop. It's never casual with a selfie stick. I mean, what's up? This, he said it's never casual with a selfie stick. Is never casual with a selfie. Should have saved the stream from Friday. Ask girls at McDonald's. Bro, it's fine. We we can do this Friday too. Listen, what are y'all talking about? How do you go live when the Go to Starbucks? Yeah, whatever. You think I care about politics? Alright. No no, trust me, the cookie shop's gonna have all the people. Put ad on Moco Space? No, dude. Definitely not. Moco Space. Eh. Is, is that even still a thing anymore, dude? That's like a low-ass quality MySpace, dude. Come on, bro. Always All right. Those cookies. So we've learned. Uh, we've learned our lesson. We're not. Don't go to Sixth Street on any day, but a Friday or Saturday, because there ain't shit out there. And the quality is of of people are lacking, I would say. But that's okay. I, I should take advantage more of the university, I feel, because this is a fucking college town. So let's head over to the university and we'll see what we got. Because I, I forgot Guadalupe. I, how do we get there? I don't know. Let me map it. I forgot that Guadalupe is like a college place. That, it's like a whole street. It's like 6th Street, but it's just full of college kids. All right, let's see. Let's start carding girls. Blake, hey, how old are you? I mean, if they're in college, like if they're on a college campus, they're... Per- they got to be at least 18. Like at least 18, right? <laughs> go right, I'm assuming? Uh, let me see. Hold on. I'm mapping it. Yeah, you're going to want to go right. And then just keep going straight. Go to the Capitol building for MILFs. Nah, we good, bro. Nerdball on TV always gets girls. Yeah, but he goes on he goes on a, on a weekend, bro. So it's different. All right. 
I mean, if we went to 6th Street on a Saturday, yeah, we're going to bring home, like, four girls. Minimum. But, you know, girls on 6th Street, are so, they're so easy, bro. They, like, literally just go home with anyone to get right up here. And I'm not even saying that on, like, a disrespectful level. Girls on 6th Street, they want to go home with guys. Like, that's why they're out there. Alright, so we'll be there in, like five minutes. All right, cool. I really hope, I'm really thinking, last, last time I went out on like a Wednesday, I went to that cookie shop, I swear to God, it was packed. Really? Bro, it's a cookie sh shop. It, they sell cookies. I know there's one of that, like that Voodoo Donut or something like that. I know that's uh, around here. I've wow, you are finally like the really, main really feature really right now in Mixer. Congratulations. Is that true, Steve-O? Yo. <laughs> What? Put that, take that motherfucking screen cap and put it on the forum, bro. Let me know. What's up? Oh, he just said something. He said I'm, he said I'm featured, but I don't think I am. All right, yeah, we'll uh, be there in a second here. Let's take a left up here. Kimberly, come over to Guadalupe. Go to the cookie store. You know what I'm talking about? The cookie shop? You know, I don't know. I forgot the name of it. It's called, like, take a left right here on the highway. It's like, uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called, but go to the capital. Yeah, pick up politicians. Thank you. What? Oh, yeah, Insomnia Cookie. Yeah, like, go to go to that place, Kimberly. You ever been there before? No, but I the cookies. They're the shit. Bro, it's the best cookies you ever, ever in the fucking whole world. Don't they deliver too? They deliver, yeah. They're oh, they're open until like two a.m. and their their marketing strategy is they deliver hot cookies to you when you're going to sleep at two a.m. But their cookies they're like ten dollars. Oh yeah, they're not cheap. But that shit is fire. <coughs> Plant Go straight or what? On the highway. Uh, keep going straight, yeah. So right here or over here? Uh, fuck. Oh yeah, this one, this one, this one. Right, this one? right, right, right. No left, left. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't know the map is bugging out. Insomnia is the shit, I don't know. Yo, beginning, I think you're, I think that's fake news. I do like a warm cookie, bro. I, indeed, all right. So what do you guys think on how I'm doing so far tonight? Even though we didn't catch any luck on 6th, as a streamer. To be expected, no, but to, right. as a streamer. As a streamer, how would you think? Would you guys like to watch me on a stream when I'm out and I'm streaming on myself? They're saying, uh, you did good. You're good, bro. Maybe. Too early to tell. That's fair. Realistically, we're going to have to see how you do on your own stream. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think, right now, I think you're adding some value to my stream. I think you are, like, you have a good face that can help. Like, okay, if I were to talk to those four random girls by myself, they'd probably be less inclined to talk to me without you. I'm down. Don't down yourself like that, man. Well, no, it's not because of how I look. It's just my, it's just the camera and everything. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, I look not normal. You look a little bit more normal, so it, it, it calms people down, you know? I got that businessman sleek. That's true. He has a large comfort zone to get over, but I think it's worthwhile. What comfort zone do you think? What comfort zone? Yo, Deb team, go to Insomnia Cookie on Guadalupe. All right, so we gotta get off the highway here. All right. And then we're essentially there. What comfort zone? Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I'm very shy or sheltered. All right, this is, I really hope there's people out here right now. I think there will oh, be, fuck. but I, we'll see. I love how you're not even 
nervous. About what? It's just that right there. Why would I be nervous? This, I, dude, I drive way crazier than that. Okay. You're just trying to get out of the highway. Dude, I've done crazy shit. I've done, like, donuts and shit in the middle of the road. <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, if we crash, the odds of me dying are super low anyways, so I don't really care. Like, I've gotten... I've crashed before. I've flipped a car seven times. At once? Yep. What do you mean? I uh, lived in Alabama. I was 21 or 22. Fell asleep at the wheel. Uh, went off the side of the road, and I uh, hit a, a little center block, and it broke my steering column. And when it jerked me awake, I tried to turn my car, and it caught grass, and I flipped like 30, 40 feet in the air. How did you fall asleep at the wheel? Uh, I have a mild case of narcolepsy. Bruh. So, like, if I get... Hey, maybe I should drive. <laughs> No, it's not like right now. It's like I like if I'm by myself or something like that. Um, what's, no, the, what's the difference? Because like most like like severe narcoleptics, they uh just uh like just down. Like me, my body has to get like really uh, calm and relaxed. And when I do that, I can just I kind of just fall asleep and I start to doze off and shit. But bro, what? What do you mean? So you, you'll see it one day. So you could be like streaming and then like fall asleep. If I was like laying in bed and I was talking to people, yeah, I could just kind of just doze off a little bit. Bro, that's fucking scary, bro. What the fuck? Yo, and, yeah, then, yeah. and then what happened? Did you fucking die? No, I didn't die, clearly. Like, I'm take, fucking here, right? So take a U-turn. So uh, what happened is uh, that uh, the uh, fight or flight kicked into my body, apparently. And I, uh, you said a U-turn? Yeah. And uh, I flipped into the woods and I landed on the side of my car. Is what I was least told how they pulled it out because I don't remember anything after the first flip. You were unconscious. Yeah, the first flip, I hit my head on my driver's side window so hard I busted it out and busted my head open. And uh, that's what let, that's what let me live. Apparently, is my body went limp and went with the car, and that's why I didn't get any broken bones except for like a busted head. Um, <coughs> but I, uh, I woke up in the hospital. Um, and then you were just like, "What happened?" Yeah, but I remember like little vivid things. Like I remember. At one point, talking to a police officer, a paramedic, and a firefighter. Um, but what happened is the guy who found me, still don't know who he was to this day. I uh, crawled out of the woods, and it was like 3 o'clock in the morning, so nobody's really on the highway, especially in Alabama. Wait, so you are not knocked unconscious. You no, I, crawled like, out of the woods. So I got knocked out in the wreck, and then I woke up. And I crawled through my car, and I kicked out my own back windshield, apparently. And walked out of the woods and waved my jacket in the air. And someone found me. And when I said that, I said, thank you. And I apparently collapsed their arms. Take it off on this highway. On this exit. How the fuck yeah. did you even manage to like, stand up and get out of the woods? I, I guess didn't, fight I didn't or break, flight, I guess. I didn't break a bone. I didn't get... The only thing that happened is like I had a, I had burns from the seatbelt to the right. Uh, yeah. So you had just burns and like... I had a, burns and I bruised my lungs. Um, I had contusions all over my body. And I busted my head open. And I had seven sta or six staples in the back of my head. But still, the fact that you were able to walk out, yeah, before, walk out, and then you collapsed immediately. I guess it was the adrenaline, and then once yeah. your body was like, "I'm safe," I just collapsed. You just it collapsed. Went down. And then they called nine one one because I was super bloody. Like I had blood all over my face and stuff, from where my head had been busted open. My clothes were bloody, and uh, I woke up, talked to those paramedics for a second. I barely remember being in an ambulance, and then I woke up in a hospital bed with my parents at the foot of my bed, and I was like, "What the fuck happened?" Bro, what the hell? That's crazy, dude. Yeah, man. I can't even imagine that, dude. I, if I was, at, like, I don't even, I'd be too scared to drive. I dude, was in a crash like, like that. Like a month and a half, two months, like, I, I was refusing to drive. But what the craziest thing is, was is I didn't realize how severe my accident really was because I hadn't seen pictures. Um, I didn't know where my crash site was for, like, three days because I couldn't really, I didn't know where I wrecked. And, uh... When it's, I straight, went straight, straight, straight. it's supposed to be straight. Oh, fuck. Oh, well. We're almost there. We're, it's like that street road over there. So just U-turn real quick. Uh, I, uh, when I woke up, uh, I mean, not when I woke up, but I went to the impound lot to go and see my car. Um, they were like, yeah, they, they asked somebody. They were like, yeah, so what happened to the guy in the car? And I was like, that was me. And the guy looked at me like I was a fucking ghost. He was like, there's no fucking way that was you. And then when I got to the car, I saw what he meant. Like, my car was completely caved in. Like, you couldn't even tell it was really a car. Like, there was grass all over my car. There was limbs of trees and, like, pine straws and, like, pine cones all in the car. It was everywhere. So he's saying you should have died. Yeah, he thought he thought the guy died or was, like, in the hospital still. He didn't know it was me. 
<laughs> bro, what the fuck, bro? But he didn't understand why. I didn't know why he didn't think it was me because I came in there and I had both my eyes were completely blood red from all the blood vessels that busted in my eyes. Like I looked like a demon. <laughs> bro, you. Might. When we get back to the house now, I'll show you the pictures and stuff like that. It's fucking wild. Bro, you might actually be a demon. <laughs> no, 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 no demons over here, man. Bro, I have this demon called Zozo, and it possesses me. Yeah. I swear to God, do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. I ha I am possessed by a demon. Yeah. Named Zozo. No shit. Mm-hmm. Hundred percent, dude. Because I summoned it a long time ago when I was a teenager. No, really? I did a blood sacrifice. What did you sacrifice? My blood. Oh, you just cut your own arm or something? Yeah, I cut my hand and I just let the blood drop into the uh, the uh, incantation in incantation circle, and I said some fucking phrase. And then, I, and then nothing happened, but I could feel when I look in the mirror that my body was different. That's trippy. And uh, sometimes I go black in the middle of the night, and I don't remember anything, and then I wake up the next morning, and people are missing. Yeah? No, I'm just kidding. I was like, so I'm going to go missing now? Bro, could you imagine that, though? That'd be fucking trippy. But I don't think you'd remember, because if a demon possessed you, so take you a wouldn't have control. So this is Guadalupe Street right here, so we should... There's a bunch of soccer games going on, should we just run out there? Like, hey, 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 everybody calm the fight down for a second. Everybody wants to be team, though. Oh, that doesn't help me at all, then. Yeah, there's no girls out there. They're all, they're all men. But if we go on this street, there should be college students. Oh, there's girls out there. Yo, the, you think they would talk to us? Fuck no, they're in the middle of the game. <laughs> we probably get a soccer ball kicked in our head. Yo, they, they got aim. They probably fucking hate us. Yeah. No, I, 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 yeah, there's only like one girl though. But if we stay on this street, we can find a girl walking lonely in the night and then we can approach her. Oh, that's the solid approach right there. At least she knows she's kind of safe because she's on a live stream, so she's not really. I mean, that could just be a fake live stream. If I was actually a serial killer, I would walk around with a camera and pretend I'm live streaming when I'm not. You know what I'm saying? And then I would just be like, come in my car. Right, it's right, a live right. stream. Trip me out. All right, so we're here. So let's me. That balcony looks pretty inviting. I'm just saying. Yo, it does. Oh, we can't go. We gotta go right or left. Wait, hold on. Let me let me pull up the map here. So it says we're here, but let me map to the actual cookie store. You ain't even put the. I thought you put the cookie store in the GPS. You just put in. What you been Guadalupe? Yeah. So just keep going straight. Wait, no, take a so right. My brother wants to come out. Should we? Should we bring Giga Chad? Uh, let's get to the place first and let's see what, pe what pe how many people are there. Take a right. Because if there's nobody out here, then there'd be no point for anyone else to come. But he can come if he wants. Take a left right here. Who all is, uh, so is it Dead? I think, I don't know who's coming. I think Dead Scene and Kimberly and, and, uh, Grimoire. So yeah, bring him. Oh, there yeah. you go. So we'll bring yeah, him. Yeah, Grim. Let's see what happens on date two. Left. Uh, left, yeah. Okay. Yeah. While we're here, though, I mean, are we gonna get a cookie? Uh, yeah. I bet. I, I would hope they're open. Something's they're, open. They're insomnia, man. They don't bro, sleep. Bro, you said bet, bro. Bet. Bro, uh, yo, you really gonna, bro? You really gonna outshot Lunar, aren't you? That's Lunar's thing. That must be like a fucking Texas thing. I've never heard it before I came here. Really? Like bet that? Bro, it's here. like. Have you ever said bet that? Bro, you ever heard bet like mood? Like oh, that's the mood. Like that's oh, that's a vibe. Things like it's a vibe. Like you never heard those? No. How old are you? 25. Jesus. That must be a Texas you, thing. Like, LA? Like, that, that shit's like popping all over LA. Especially like the WeHo area and shit. No. They say Gucci. I don't know, that's Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. That's straight. It, or what like, up, maybe they'll say like it's a vibe. There you see. But from in Florida, yeah. they don't say bet. In Florida, they say, yeah. Yo. they just be like, I'll be like, yo, you want to hang out? Yeah. Yeah, Yo, you want to go to the mall? Yeah. I say for sure, but I, I say a lot, man. I'm, like, you'll hear some of my country slang come out when I'm like, y'all. Yo, I mean, I say y'all too. But see, you don't sound like a redneck when you say like y'all. No, I have the southern ebonics. The southern ebonics. I have the southern ebonics <laughs> in me, bro. In, in South Florida, we're hella diverse. All right, so this is the street. We're here. This Starbucks. Is I bet bitches are always at Starbucks. This, I mean, it's closed, but there would hey, be. Hey, uh, go fuck yourself. This is it, dude. So there should be 
college kids all over this area. What we got here? Look at this Flamingo Automotive. Sorry, nobody there. This girl's on the shit about cars. Oh, right here, ice cream store. But there was a bunch of fucking guys. You didn't see that? There was. There was every girl in there had a guy. Dang. Maybe two. You think so? Hats high. Ooh, hats high. Yes. So the the Goth Queen. So actually, where I mapped us to is right across the street from the campus as well. So. All right, cool, cool. Multiple options here. Well, I thought we were going to Insomnia. That's where we're meeting everybody. Yeah, we are. Oh, okay. I was like, cause I want a cookie. What's everybody's favorite cookie? Like, what kind of cookie should I get tonight? And I'm not talking about vagina either. I like peanut butter. Oh man, you gotta get some of that, like, like caramel or some shit, like some white chocolate macadamia. Why no, that? dude? Why, what? Macadamia? White chocolate macadamia in that, man? No. Shit. Okay. All right, all right, here we go. Cast a ca ca poll. Yo, do you guys like peanut butter or white chocolate macadamia nut? Realistically, I think peanut butter is better. But what do y'all think? Macadamia nut, like bro. That's White sounds, chocolate macadamia nut. That sounds like some garbage, homie. Yo, pokey bowls. Yo, they got some good shit out here. Yeah, hold on. Uh, let's see. So we keep going straight. So we're almost there. Point right. seven miles. What's everybody saying? They're saying peanut butter, double chocolate, chocolate chip, oatmeal. What the, the fuck? Bro, I'm gonna ban your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Snickerdoodle. All right, this is not part of the poll. We said peanut butter or white chocolate macadamia nut. I don't give a shit if you don't like either one. Just pick one. White chocolate macadamia nut, though. Yeah, which one? White chocolate or macadamia or peanut butter? Damn, they're really saying the macadamia, dude. What's up, then? I don't know, bro. I I mean, macadamia is not bad. Don't get me wrong. But, but it's got the white chocolate in there, man. But peanut butter, it trumps everything. No. I mean, peanut butter's good, don't get me wrong. Like, I fucking love peanut butter. But that white chocolate macadamia nut, it, it like hits the soul. I gotta try some of this. I gotta I gotta compare the two now. Cause now I don't even know anymore. All right, so that's the campus right here. So uh, the, the cookie place is right up here. It just, would be right next to campus. That's some smart fucking business move right there. Yeah, all the dorms like are all around here. Yeah, like, so it's perfect. So if you take a right, Right here. <laughs> just park if you just park right here because I think it's still I one way. Right okay, park anywhere though. I mean, you take a right, then park, yeah. I see backpacks. Go right. There's a lot of men out is tonight. It, is, this, is this one way? Oh no, it's not very cool. Alright, so you just park somewhere. And there it's the place right there. Oh, there's a little parking spot right there. Look at this shit! Yeah, there's a lot of people out right now, actually. I'm surprised. I mean, they're all probably walking home from like, class and shit. But I don't see no girls, though. I see just straight dudes. Yo, are there more girls or guys at college, dude? I never went to a real university, so I don't know. All I, I went to a community college. Yeah, that's not real, though. I mean... I went to a fucking private fucking college, dude, and it was full of boomers. Is you a rich boy? Well, no. I took out a fucking loan. Oh, okay. Well, damn. My, my parents and shit, like, they helped me pay for I it, but I mean, you know, fucking... I can't decide to and bring the extra nest for Kim. Fuck. I went to, like, a boomer college. Oh, right. I see a bunch of girls right here. That's not bad. Oh, they got fucking, like, Starbucks or something in their hand. Oh, fucking Starbucks, man! Yo, I think it'll be easy to... Uh, oh, dude, I think a lot of college girls, I think they'll be down for this kind of shit. Uh, why the hell did we not just start here off the bat? Why the hell did we even go to Sixth? Hey, man, you gotta you gotta learn. <clears throat> That's true, I learned, bro. Sixth Street is trash, dude. During the week. It really is, bro. During the week, it's garbage. I'm not trying to pick up, like, alcoholic-ass girls, dude. <laughs> I'm trying right, to pick up, just... like, normal-ass girls. See, we need... To, see, that's the, that's the thing. All right, so what we got? Park, parking entrance. All right, cool. So, we can't get the girls that are hammered. Like, I know that'd be an easier yes, but we can't get them that are drunk. Because then when they sober up, they're going to be like, what the fuck did I agree? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, they have to be sober, dude. So what is this right here? What does this say? We're going to pull into one of these spots yeah. right quick. Yeah, there's no street parking? Reserve permit parking only. Never mind. Just kidding. I was looking for street parking. I mean, look. I mean, these cars right here. Like, you can pull them I mean, there's no red right there. No? No? What do we mean red? Like uh, red, like... Uh, San Antonio garage? What is that, right here? 
like n none of this is red. I don't know if you can park here though. Like when you over here, like the sidewalk is not red, which means you wouldn't be able to park at it. Stream, bro. No, we're over here prowling, bro. This is creepy. Like, does Fuck this no, man. does this look creepy from a viewer perspective, though? No, dude. Because I mean, think about it. Like, are we creepy right now? How many people do this shit all the time? Like, go prowling. Well, plus, girls? let me ask a question. Let me ask a question, real quick. You say is it? You're asking if it's weird, right? Are we not in Austin? Are we not trying to keep this shit weird? I mean, that's true, but we don't want to be creepy, though. We ain't creepy. We just being. We don't want to come out like, yo, let's go find some girls and like and shit, dude. Like, yeah. I don't know. Be like, oh. All right. All right. So let's start at the cookie place, and let's see what we can get our our shit into. It's a good old nine, nine thirty. Yeah, yeah, free. Oh, it's all gonna be free after six. All right. So we'll start at the cookie place, get some cookies, and then we'll uh, go on the prowl, find some girls. If there's any girls in there, we buy them cookies. Cookies? I'll buy them cookies. I'm about to say, I'm driving and I'll, everything. I'll buy them the cookies. Whatever they want. In fact, I'll, uh, any even <laughs> like, even on the sidewalk, hey, who want, want to walk with us to the cookie store, I'll so, buy it for you. So, uh, should I, should I, ooh, Smoothie King. That, 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 that place is sold too if you ever been there. No, it's, is it like Tropical Smoothie? Uh, sort of. Sort of. Tropical smoothie is a good shit. They don't really sell food there, though. Like, tropical smoothie sells food yeah. in the southern. Tropical smoothie. Tropical I, smoothie had my heart when I was in I, Alabama. I miss that shit. I it, used to live like three minutes down away from one. That shit took so much of my money. But it's so good, though. All right. So, should I call uh, Caleb real quick? Uh, yeah. Like, tell him where we are and shit? Yeah. Hey, how you guys doing? Hello. Oh, she's got headphones in. They walk right by me. They didn't even look at me. They didn't even look at me. I mean, she got headphones in, but still, they didn't even look at me. She saw my hand. Even if she couldn't hear me. Yeah. It's windy up in here. I know, I'm getting L's all night, bro. It's all good. All right, let's see. Sm smoke. They saw but ignored. I know. That's what I'm saying, bro. This wind. Damn, I'm trying to get into this cookie store. This light needs to turn green. Yeah, we're going to uh, gonna close soon. we got to hurry. She went, she took a hard left. A hard right, that's a right. A hard right, what a... Ah, fuck it, dude. Woo! Uh, there you guys are. I thought you were girls hollering. What's up, y'all? What are y'all doing? Yo, let's go inside this place. Really close. Oh, that's a cool jacket. Yo, give her the jacket, bro. She's free. No, I chose this outfit. You fucked up. I'm cold as shit. What's up, bro? What's up, man? Yeah, Good. Of course. You you fucked up. I'm already freezing ass cold, dude. Yeah, no, like I'm sorry. I don't know why you came out dressing like that. Because grandma dressed up and I never dressed up Hey y'all doing? Oh sorry, bro. You just no video and shit? Yeah, no video. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. Oh, is that not Yo, we can't video in here, so I'm gonna just get a cookie real quick. So cool. can you get me uh uh peanut butter and macadamia too? One peanut one peanut butter or macadamia. All right, they don't want they don't want me to film in there, but I'm gonna get them cookies anyways. Who? The employee. Oh, okay. You guys are good for bringing sweaters. I know why. Yeah, did, why did you I didn't know. Actually. Why did you? Why <laughs> did my car? Why did you not bring a sweater? I mean, I didn't either. Cause I didn't so think. Of, right back. Wait, did you All right. Buy this? No, no, he gave me his, his sweater. Oh, what a sweetheart. 
Yeah, Kim Kim dressed up. But they came out dressed up. They look real nice. But too bad it's freezing ass cold (laughs) and it's fucking 10 o'clock on a Tuesday. But they said a girl doesn't get cold. Bro, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start coming out to this area and streaming. They fuck Sixth Street, bro. I always go to Sixth Street. The six is full of trashy this ass like motherfuckers. Old ass, not old, but like old style. Really no, cool. bro, this, yeah, yeah, this is the college area. Oh, nice. So this, these are all dorms. That's all dorms right there. And these are all dorms. And so all these businesses are like open later for the dorms. Yeah. And like, there's a, the college is right over there, so there's like a lot of young people walking around right now. It's like a little rainy street over here. That's what I'm saying. I'm hella surprised right now. Mexican Grill, a little scuffed Chipotle. This, right this, this area has got some potential right now. But I don't know. Are college kids typically under 21? So, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but... Bro, he's going to be like 18-year-old. He graduated old. at like 22. Really? Yeah. College? University. Bro, yeah, that's early right. as fuck. No, you gra- I thought you graduated like 24. Yeah, I think so too. It depends, though, what well, kind depends. of thing you take. If you're a doctor, bro, you're going to be in there for like 10 years, right? Yeah. Wait, hey, hold this for a sec. I'm just going to take a bite. Here. You want to give me the full backpack? I mean, if you want. Go ahead, bro. Thank you so much. Just like rub my cheek every now and then so I can see. Yeah, you're so probably right now. Yeah, you're fine. So this is peanut butter and macadamia. Oh, it tastes yeah, good. Do you want a free cookie? No, I don't know. Do you want a free cookie for me? Sorry, don't don't mind my friend. Do you, I can buy you a cookie if you want. No, it's okay. I can get it. Accept our cookies. Except they're wrong. Don't worry. Yeah. It's wait, a good cookie. Wait, hold on. I mean, why do you not want a free cookie? I don't know. I'm feeling generous today. Yeah. What do you want? Okay. I was just going to get a talking to you behind you, so don't get hit by the wind. All right, how about this? My friend right here. How old are you, Annie? I'm 22. Perfect. All right, so, sorry, we're doing a live stream. Oh, okay. And uh, my friend here, I'm trying to, like, help um, him show, like, show off his, like, charisma skills to the camera and all this stuff. So when he comes out, can he talk to you? Yeah. Perfect. Are you in the, are you at the college? Yeah. What are you studying? Public relations. Yo, PR? Yeah. Yo, I took that. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm 25, so I was in college back in the day. Oh, oh, you're very welcome. What are you trying to, to become? I'm going to be a missionary next year. So. What is that like? You preach religion? Uh, I'll be on a college campus doing ministry. Oh, well. Right. Oh, well. I'm all about you. Okay. This is your time, bro. All right, so I'm actually a new streamer to the mixer. Uh, he's teaching me the ropes here right now. And so what we're doing is we're actually trying to put on a live event in a couple of weeks. And so it's going to be like similar to a, like a bachelor in the next kind of event. So what it's okay. going to be is we're trying to get a big group of girls to come through, and it's going to be two or three guys. And basically, it's going to be the girls are trying to get for the guys. It's just Ask one day of man, it's not like you're trying to find love or anything like that. It's just all for the streaming and the little project that we do. Would you be interested in doing that with us? Just to check I it out. That? We're going to be doing it in a couple weeks. So once we get the big group together, and we figure out what's the bachelor we're going to do, and which bachelor we're going to do, we're going to be renting a house so we can put it all on there. Okay. Yeah. Is she? Cool. For sure. So Damn, she's like, down with it. She's yeah. not no hesitation. So if you want to, you can just put your name in here right for me, and then if you'll just put like Bachelorette next to it, and that way, whenever the event comes around, I can hit you up for it, and then we'll be able to set it all up. Come to what's your city, Gnarly? Oh, wait. At least in Colorado, but where? Yeah, since you gotta put the number in there, so. <laughs> so oh. how, what made you say yes with no hesitation? Sounds fun. Yeah, this is a cookie. I trust you. Yeah, see, there you go. So it's just, it's gonna be a huge event. Like, we've got thousands of streamers and everything like that. So it's not like some little scam game or anything like that. It's just all fun and games for everybody. Just a little bit that we do. Okay. Awesome. Well, hey, Sean, cool. it was cool. It was awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet yeah, I appreciate you. it. We yeah, hope to hear from you project. soon. Oh, thank you, too. It's mine, actually. Yeah. Oh, I like it. <laughs> hey, thank you. I appreciate right. it. Have Bye-bye. a good night, all right? It How worked. much is that? I was just giving you the money for like just a dollar seventy, bro. No, okay, I got you, bro. When I stream, you got me. I, got you. <laughs> I thought they were like ten dollars. They're like only a dollar seventy. Yeah, like that. that's why I got three. Oh, hey, hey. So everybody, the whole stream that we were just doing right now, peanut butter, 
versus white chocolate macadamia. So I just had white chocolate macadamia, but now I'm having peanut butter. Bro, the peanut butter is way better. Are you you're shitting on me. You're, 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 you're full Bro, of shit. peanut butter melts in your mouth. I don't even gotta chew it. So yeah, peanut butter, butter is, 100, is way better, dude. It's the soul. What are you guys doing? Huh? Warming up. The cold. Okay. All right. So the way she said it's that, it's really she, cold. So she's we're like, warming up. She's like, I bought. She bought me. A, you bought me a cookie. I trust you, bro. The cookie thing always fucking works. So now we always. This is the cheaper route too. I thought I had to buy some like a Starbucks or something like that. No, that bro. shit adds up. <laughs> All we gotta do is stand here, and every girl that walks by, you want a free cookie? You want a cookie? Dude, yeah, honestly. <laughs> Check the fucking side. There might be one we're like, we're like fucking creepy ass dude pulling up to a kid. Do you want some candy? <laughs> <laughs> they're like all dressed in black. Boys, boys, like, boys. We have, we have like coming up right now. Bunch you guys. Oh, no. that side, that side. Over here. Never mind. Here we go, here we go. Hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, can I borrow you for just a second before you go in there? Sure. Cool, so. You want a free cookie? You want a free cookie? Yes, I'm cool. actually here for Boom. a cookie. Well, I was actually thinking maybe I'll get a brownie. A brownie? Yeah. Okay, so I'll get you a brownie. Okay. And then you get to have a cool. little conversation with us. We're actually, me and him are actually live streamers on Mixer. Oh, and so, hi. So tell everybody your name. I'm Gracie. Say hey, say everybody. Hi. Say hey to Gracie. Everybody. I'm Sean. Hi. This is Ice. Hi, Gracie. How old are you? Hi. I'm 18. 18. Okay, perfect. Right. Sorry, I don't want to come well, off as weird, but... Yeah, you're fine. Just got to make sure. Yeah. All legal reasons. So, if you give me just a second, I'm going to run it in, I'm going to go get you a brownie, and then we're going to have a little chat about something. But Ice is going to talk to you about it a little bit first, okay? Okay, thank three. you. You're good to hear the, the brownie? Yeah. All right. All right, so Gracie, I'm, I, want him, I want to let him do all the talking, because he's new to the streaming thing. I've been streaming for four years. Okay. He's new to it, and I'm trying to, like, he's my protege right now. I'm trying to help him uh, become a streamer. So, I want him to really explain the idea that we have, but would you be interested in, first of all, what do you think about us, off the bat, first looks? Um, I think of like a Twitter video that you see on Twitter. I mean, do we come off as creepy is what I'm asking. I don't know. Like, we don't come off as like fucking creeps or anything, right? No, So, really. we're having this like, event that we're doing okay. in Austin. It's, uh, are you familiar with The Bachelor? I love The Bachelor. How oh, perfect. High five. Yo, do you want to be on The Bachelor? I mean, if I was like a certain age, I might go on there, but... What do you mean? Like... Why are you asking me if I want to be on The Bachelor? Well, it's not The Real Bachelor. Oh. It, it's my version of it. So you're not obligated. Like, you're... It's not... Realistically, the girls and the guys aren't actually going to date, probably. Okay. I mean, you could, but the, but the idea is couple guys, you know, get some girls, and the guys choose the girls that they want, and, you know, it's, it's basically The Bachelor, but okay. it's more like fun, okay. and less based on trying to actually get people together. Okay. But when you say certain age, what do you mean? Well, I mean, like, if I would go on The Bachelor if I was, like, 28, and was like, shit, I don't know if I'm... Oh, yeah, no, don't, this is not like, you're okay. not looking for so, love here and so shit, you don't gotta worry. This isn't gonna be like, oh, you're living in a house with all these girls and everything like that for eight weeks. No, it, this is gonna be a one-day event, that's all it's gonna be. Okay. It's just for, like, the viewers and everything like that. Just she was worried about, time. like, she, she, she thinks, like, this is gonna be about love, and, like, she's gonna be 28 and single, and, like, these well, are funny said, would you ever go on The Bachelor? And I said, I mean, if I was a certain age. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, okay, that's fair, but no, it's gonna be just, like, a little fun game and everything like that. No, uh, I love the dynamic of The Bachelor. Love it. So Great perfect. Show. So there yeah. you go. So see, so what the whole game is is that we're going to do about... Where's the brownie? Huh? It's being heated up right okay. now. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I was like, they're like, you want to heat it up? And I was like, yeah, please, absolutely. I was going to ask you. Yeah, see, I got you. Don't Thank worry. Thank you. So what it's going to be is just in a few weeks, we're going to be running a house. And so we're going to be putting the whole group together. And we're going to be live streaming the entire event as it's going on for a few hours. <laughs> just to kind of, for all the live streaming and everything like that. Okay. Maybe something that you're interested in doing, just trying it out. I mean, maybe. I don't really know much about it. Do you have an Instagram? I do. This could help get some followers too. If that's something you're interested in, yeah. Well, everybody okay. who does it, we're promoting them and their Instagram page. Name. Anything you want promoted, we'll promote it for you. No issues at all. Okay. I might buy you a, like you know a six pack of the Insomnia Cookie Brownies. You wow. know, like that'd be good. See, look at that. See, it's just me and Tyson little little treat. See? Okay. See, so you interested in doing that? I it's a fun mean, little maybe. Thing. Yeah. 
yeah, it sounds pretty cool. Well, yeah, so the way it's doing right now is that I'm just getting all the numbers, and I'm putting my phone, and you're going to put Bachelorette next to it. And then that way, when we do have everybody grouped together, I'll send out a big mass text to everybody and say, hey, we've got the group going, still down to do this, and then once we get it, we're going to rent the house, and we'll have it all set up, and we'll give you a date. Well, what do we do at the house? Oh, so we're going to have, like, a little scene set up, and it's going to be the same scenario as the Bachelor and Bachelorette thing. It's like it's going to be like asking questions and stuff like that. Okay. We're going to put a little side games and stuff together. That's why it's going to take it's a few weeks process. Like okay. we're putting it all together right now. We've got to find our contestants. Yeah, it's not going to be any like weird shit. I know what you're okay. thinking. Yeah, like, no, what are you going to do at the house? Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, nothing like that. Well, I mean, it's just very vague, but we're going to. So, OK, so I don't really know what we're going to do yet <laughs> since I'm setting the event up. But it's obviously going to be like little challenges, like little speed dating things. Like okay. you, like for example, you and the guy. So here, see? Right. see oh, right. oh, I was just going to say, see, like they're a part of this as well. Like they know all about it as well. Like there's nothing's creepy. Nothing's she was scary. super excited to be part of The Bachelor because yeah. I, told, I told her, okay. Hi. Right, dude. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, <laughs> Relax. Thanks for having Why did you do that? <laughs> Welcome, or All right. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> All right. Yes. Yeah, sure. Sorry. Okay. So. Anyway. <laughs> that that's. <laughs> there's, 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 not going anymore, bro. All right. So oh, ba boy. basically, it'd be like there's gonna be like for example, one of the challenges would be like speed dating, like you and like the guy would speed date three minutes, and the guy will choose which girl that he thought was the best speed date. Okay. Or something. Like many games like that, and at the end of it, people can get like eliminated and yes. things of that nature, and all this okay. is just like a okay. whole. Okay. Of yeah. I mean. You might meet someone you really like. That's why I met him. Oh. Been for a year now. oh wow! But this yeah. is his thing. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I met now her he's hosting. a year ago. I was the bachelor, and but now I'm hosting it. So and I met her, and she was great, and she's you know my sugar mama. We're like so the success story of it. So we oh, want to do it again. Wow. Okay. Sure, I'm interested. So yeah. Perfect. So yeah. So here you go. If you want to put your name in there and just put in a uh, put bachelor right next to it, and then that way when we get everybody fixed there, once we get everybody together, I'll send out a group text to everybody and we'll have it all set up. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm excited to see it again. This is an expected little visit to Insomnia Cookie. So we're, we're, this is probably gonna happen like, you know, next month. So you might just hopefully remember. Oh, I'll next. remember. I'll be like, oh, this really weird thing happened. Oh, but wait, I'll but now, it. do you have any friends? Let's say you got friends? You yeah, can I do. Yeah, I have tons of friends that I'd love so to So, look, do that's this. the thing. Like, if you want to bring a friend with you, and that way it can be more of a comfortable scene for you, something like that, that'd be dope, too. It's not okay. a problem at all. We're looking okay. for contestants. So bring as look. many of your friends as you want. I will. Yeah. I will do that. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. You enjoy your brownie? Thank you so much Thanks, for your time. I appreciate it. Oh, well, you should tell me. I got that for you, too. Well, it's okay. But thank you, and I guess I'll be waiting for the text. Yes. Yeah. Hell yeah. See you in a couple weeks. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. Bye. Well, that went well. Yes. You guys did really well. The cookie method <laughs> never fails. <laughs> it never Bro, I swear to God. Lure you, them in with the cookies. Two. You stand outside insomnia cookie <laughs> near a college campus, and they just flock to you, bro. Buy cookies. I just know how this shit works. Uh, when you hugged her, I think you might have scared her a little bit. Yeah, but it's up? okay, you won't be okay. <laughs> Bro, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking good. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's see. How many more girls do we... We need a lot of girls, bro. I mean, uh, she might... I don't know if she has any friends. I mean, if they respond to this. It's not happening. We do have a lot of time, but hopefully they respond. Hold on, this guy's got a paragraph for me. Also, the cookie mood is good with girls. Probably the comments is that we are grabbed Perfect, dude. Ask random girl they want to cook it. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that, homie. Paragraphs for days. All right. So the one that's crossed out. Yeah, that's a huge paragraph. All right, that's why Kim saved it, bro. Kim, that's Kim saved it. Literally Where's Kim? Saved it. She literally got. Where'd she go? How did she get the girl? She came in. She felt more comfortable because there were more girls. That's it. I, I don't know. I think we. I think we had it. Uh -huh. I think we had it just fine, realistically. <laughs> All right, so let's just keep waiting and for, for more to show up. We don't even have to go anywhere, because honestly, it's windy as fuck, and this building is blocking the wind. Yeah. Like, we, don't have anything to, we don't have anything to block the wind from the mic, so it's going to be loud as fuck if we walk anywhere. Yo, Gnarly, what's up? Bro, Gnarly, you know, Gnarly Queen in the chat, you let me know. We'll fly your ass out, you let me know, bro. Okay, you be a contestant. I ain't going. I ain't going to Colorado though. That shit's cold and far. <laughs> I'm struggling with wind now. 
fuck you think I'm gonna do in Colorado? Yeah, fuck all that shit, dude. See you later. You have a good night. Good night. Good luck with your contestants. Annie, right? Gracie. Gracie, Gracie. fuck. Sorry. You're good. You're good. <laughs> all right. Good luck. Bye bye. Later. Talk to you soon. Okay. Why did I say Annie? I don't know. <laughs> she was the first girl. Oh yeah, the first girl. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the first time. What do you mean? That's just not the first time I've I've done that. All right. Won't be your last either. No. I would. Well, hopefully it'll be my last. We'll see. I don't know. It's up to Kimberly, right? I meant life. Not. I hope, I hope that's the last one tonight. <laughs> All right. So let's see. If they don't, if we don't see any girls here in like five minutes, and we're gonna have to walk to another like location. location. Like, what's another location that like college girls go Starbucks. to? Starbucks. Oh, right there. Starbucks and Smoothie King. <laughs> yeah. Boom. We, I mean, realistically, we can just walk in there right now. There might be a girl sitting alone. But I feel like the cookie method is easy because we once Tell girls get free shit bought for them, they're more inclined to stay and talk to us. By the way, your tab's totally up. <laughs> oh, what is it, like $3 now? Oh, I got five. Okay. Those brownies weren't cheap. <laughs> oh, damn, the f***ing brownie, dude. No, that's fine, that's fine. Tell Kim to sell cock block if she was attracted to, the, to ice. Kim almost ruined it, what you mean? Oh, that one, that last girl? I mean, every girl's attracted to me, but I have a girlfriend, so it don't matter. <laughs> Oh, okay, this... Would you like You can easily like tell the first cookie? one ain't even gonna answer you. She just wanted the cookie. The second one, you actually had a chance of so, her coming from once the dude in the black hug. You, you ruined all your chances. You just save her money, homie. All right, I'll hold on, B. What's up? Sorry, somebody oh. donated. You said you want a free cookie, right? Yeah. Hi, what's your name? Alex, nice to see you. What's your name? Hello, Ashley. Ashley, do you want a free cookie Sean. too? I'm good, but oh. pleasure. Pleasure. So first, first things first. How old are you, ladies? I'm 18. Uh, 18. Oh, I'm 19. Okay. 19. <coughs> it's all good. It's all good. What are you guys majoring in? Biology. Oh, nice. Cool. All right. So, how about this? My boy here is gonna explain something, and you guys just let us know. Okay. Cool. So, this time I'll buy the cookie. What do you guys want? Oh, anything. I mean, what do you want, though? What did you come here to buy? And I'll keep dude in the black inside. <laughs> Please do, God. We love God. <laughs> I prefer peanut butter. I like that. I like white chocolate macadamia in that, but... <laughs> chocolate, chocolate chip cookie? Chip. All right, chip. sold. All right, so while he's in there buying your cookies for you... Me and uh, my buddy Ice are here, Paul. We're actually putting on an event. It's called a Bachelor Bachelorette kind of thing. So in a few weeks, we're going to be renting a house together. And we're going to be doing a whole event with uh, three bachelors and bachelorettes. And so right now, we're looking for our contestants for this evening. And right now, this is our live stream on Mixer. So you can say hey to everybody. Hello. <laughs> and so right now, we're out on the street. We're just, you know, getting cookies for everybody, trying to talk to them about this whole event and trying to see if you'd be interested in trying it out with us. It's not like you're looking for love. And it's not like you're going to be trying to find your next boyfriend like that. It's all fun and games. It's just like a little project thing that we do just for events that we do. It's nothing huge like that. Would y'all be interested in just trying it out? Um, no, thank you. No? <laughs> she has a boyfriend, yeah. You can come watch. <laughs> oh, okay. Would you be interested in trying it out? It's I just a fun little event. She can come and hang out. She doesn't have to be a part of the event at all. We're encouraging people to come and check it out, have friends around so it's a more comfortable environment. It's not like it's going to be some creepy scene. I mean, you're going to be viewed. There's going to be... All of our viewers on Mixer are going to be watching this as well. Where is this going to be at? So we're going to be renting a house here in Austin. Oh, but once we get all of our contestants, we're going to send it out. And I'm going to do send out a group text to everybody and say, hey, this is the date and this is the location for it. But right now, we're trying to find our contestants because we can't get a house yet and then have a you know a wait on it while we're still trying yeah. to find people, you know? <laughs> it's a cool little thing. And if you have an Instagram or anything like that, we're actually anybody who does it, we're actually promoting you as well. So that way you'll be shouted out on all of our streams and everything like that. So it's just a good little publicity thing as well. I don't want to say yes, but I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yes. while you say you're interested, you can do like, you know, the 24-hour sleep on it. But in order for that to do it, can I get your number so you can put Bachelorette next to it? That way I can send you the text and say a few days to see if you're still interested and see if it catches your attention. Sure, yeah. Cool, yeah. perfect. See, look at that. <laughs> See, it's like a sign. It's like, oh, you know, that'd be really cool to do. And then boom, it's like, oh, wow, I get an option to do this? I think she should do it, guys. I think she should do it. I think she'd have fun. It'd be a cool little thing. Okay. 
Because, you know, we are living in Austin, so, you know, you got to keep Austin weird, right? <laughs> That's what you got to do. <laughs> got to have a little fun with it. So, um, buddy, I should be coming with a cookie. Boom, right there for you. <laughs> so, I'm going to type with you. Did they say yes? She did. Miss Asher right here said she's going to oh, do the event yeah. with us right here. <laughs> She unfortunately has a boyfriend, but I invited her to come watch the Give me that cookie well. back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All That's right. fine. Hey, Ashley, right? Yes. Ashley. That's amazing. Are you excited for this? I don't, I don't know. Are I you looking for love? I, I mean, Daniel has to be looking for love. <laughs> Let's just say, okay. it's not looking for love or anything like that. It's just all fun. Yeah, it's just fun. Okay, well, thank you. Hey, thank, thank you all so much. Y'all have a good night, all right? Too. All right, there's three, but we haven't had a single no. We haven't had a single fucking no yet. Bro, I don't know if it's the cookies or if it's you. It could be both. I'm just saying. Bro, usually I talk to girls and they fucking, they run. I told you, I am the new face of this. The new face. Bro, look next, at it right here. Next girl you see, hit her with the what it do. What it do? Oh, that's what hey, I do. I hey, walk out, I say what it do. But <laughs> what did you tell her? They're saying you were smooth. What did you say to her? <laughs> yeah, that was hella smooth. Thank you guys so much. What she said? What did they say? What, no, he said that was smooth. So what did you what did you say to sell it? I just explained the whole situation to him, and I was like, look, it's a really cool event. Like, it's a bunch of publicity thing. It's nothing that you have to really worry about. Like, you're able to have friends, and they're coming to watch it. I was like, if you have a social media, we're promoting anybody who does a social media who's participating in this event. It's a fun little thing. And I said, plus, this is awesome. You got to keep it weird, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's a good way to do it. I see one right there across the street. She's got headphones, and I was in a hall. Headphones, jacket, but yeah. super short shorts. So she can't be that cold. <laughs> All right, so let's wait. Let's let's wait here for one more girl, and then let's, let's move over to the Starbucks. So maybe there's a different vibe there. Yeah, she put in her, her name, and I was like, "Wait, you got to put Bachelorette next to that because I'm not going to remember this." I'm sorry, but I, no. I so that one donation before he said you could easily tell the first one ain't even going to answer. She just wanted the cookie, <laughs> and then the second one you actually had a chance of her coming, but once the dude hugged her, it ruined. It. Oh. 100 like, percent you, you don't think she's coming it. out no nah, i think she'll come i think she will too i don't know i feel like these girls bro like they're probably bored they probably ain't got shit going on like yeah i'll be, be coming out why not okay he's they're live streaming this is pretty cool i've never seen this before why not like i said it's austin keeping it weird and they're in college this is the whole time of experimenting and doing fun shit and doing something that they can tell their kids later on in life i guess i don't fucking know hello can't tell if it's a girl or not. It's a, ma a mask on and everything. <laughs> she just hit the what's up. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What it do? <laughs> what, what you up to? I don't know. They got the, she got the mask on. She got the hoodie on. I don't know what the hell she got going on. Like, what you pulling out, bro? She got two phones. But she's a street sniper. You, you a drug dealer? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Why what, you covering your face? That's crazy, bro. What'd you say? I don't know. A drug dealer or something, bro. That's crazy. All right. Oh yeah. Yo, Kimberly. Let's go, let's go to the Starbucks. Kimberly. Let's <laughs> go to Starbucks. Watch out. Oh, all the girls are there. Watch out, watch out. Okay. Let's go down. Yeah, all the girls are at Starbucks. Oh, it's so, why is it so windy right now? If you don't think about it, it makes you not cold. I mean, I'm not cold, it's just I don't like the noise. Alright, it's gonna be like on a low key for a second. Just go to the place out real quick. Alright, Sorry. Okay. Kiara. 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 Kiara.
Hi guys, so my name is Sean, this is my buddy Paul, and we're both live streamers on Mixer. And so right now we're going around and we're just meeting new people and things of that nature. Uh, I'm actually trying to be an up and coming streamer on this site. He's actually made it into the very top platform of it, so he's actually up and down with the whole thing. Uh, but right now, to cut to the chase, we're actually trying to put on a, um, an event in the next couple of weeks here in Austin for a Bachelor Bachelor editor. How many of y'all here watch The Bachelor Bachelor? But y'all know about it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of know how it works. Cool. So we're not looking for love. Let's start there. Um, not looking for your next boyfriend like that. It's just all kind of a fun and games kind of event. It's going to be just for a couple hours of the day. We're actually going to rent a house here in Austin in the next couple of weeks when we get all of our contestants together. We're going to do three bachelors instead of just one. And we don't know how many women we're going to do yet. With three bachelors, it's going to be a lot. But with that being said, is that we're kind of just trying to put on little games and stuff like that. Like a little speed, little dating thing. Little fun games that we're going to do outside the house and stuff like that just to kind of have fun and kind of stream our new mixer crowd that we're doing. Um, with that being said, it's just all fun games. It's going to be anybody who has social media right here and you want it to be promoted, we're definitely going to promote you and throw you out there for publicity or anything that you want. Or if you don't want it, we won't put it out there. It's not that big of a deal. Um, would any of y'all be interested in trying it out and becoming one of our bachelor the show? No? No. Wow. You're more than welcome if you don't want to do it, say like one of you wants to do it and then the other ones don't, right? You're all more than welcome to come out and watch the show. It's all a big event. It's nothing that's trying to be like that nature. Uh, if your boyfriend's gone, I don't care. It's, it's literally all for show. It's not like you're looking for love. It's all fun and games. Half those people that go on that show anyways actually have a significant other back home. We all know that, let's be honest. What's the reason to yeah. say no? I don't have the time. I'm You're what? I'm intrigued. You're intrigued. <laughs> Alright, hold on, hold on. What was your name? Commit. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, okay. So, it's not really a show where you're really going to be looking yeah. for love. We're always going to have fun. And, you know, whoever gets chosen, it's just for fun and games. And maybe you win a prize. So you can get some money out of it, potentially. Um, I mean, how much? That depends on how much, how big this All right, so. That's why we're trying to do promotion now. This, this, this is, so we're, li so we're live streaming right now. And we have uh, a large fan base of people. And so it's gaming in real life. So oh, oh, wow. See, right now, all of these people are. Oh, that was why I looked in the car and the other guy with the chip. So. Wait, hold on. Everyone type, what's your name? Mimi? Mimi. Everyone type Mimi with a heart in the chat, please. And let's let's let her uh, go real good real quick. I like the Pepe meme. Hey, she knows about Pepe, too. She's one of us. I love to see it. So, that's what I'm saying. This is a real deal. Like, this isn't some bullshit thing or anything like that. Like, this is something we're really trying to do. We do events every couple months and stuff like that. One thing that he does, he's bringing me into it now. And so, this will be like my first event that I get to help host and put on. And so, it's this is real. This isn't some gimmick or joke. Wait, so how old are you? 18. Okay. So, like I said, you're not really looking for love. We just have a couple guys. We have a bunch of girls. And, you know, whichever girl is like the last one standing at the end of the day could win the prize and then if they want to go on a date they can they don't have to it's not really about that it's more about getting through the show it's like yeah. fun so I mean if you're interested you know let me know I don't know if you've been on Instagram or whatever either or promote that <laughs> what do you have to lose right right and plus we're in Austin right Gotta keep it weird. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna die. So, if you can do the favor, I'm doing all this. Type your name in there for me, and then type Bachelorette next to it. And that way, in a couple of weeks, when we have all of our contestants and we have our place picked out, I'll message everybody and I'll send a location out for you. No one else interested? <clears throat> Come on, what was your name? Emma. 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 You're Emma, I feel like you're like when you say no, you're kind of like doing this number, and you're like. I feel like I feel like you might be a little interested. <laughs> for, for what reason? Oh shit! <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> no, you did not. I'm dead. I'm. Okay. Perfect. 
So what made you intrigued out of all your friends? I think it's interesting. I like how it's like sisters loving. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. It's like we just came out like an hour ago, hour and a half ago maybe. Yeah, we're kind just, of just like oh, wait, having fun and chilling and this is a random opportunity. Yeah, a random live stream pops up and you're like, oh shit, I'm famous now. <laughs> right? Yeah, see? We're mixer people. We're a higher quality. Higher class, higher quality. Six months, we'll be taking over the entire planet. We'll be the highest people involved, I promise you. Anybody else? Let's at least get half this group in this. Come on. Somebody else step up to the plate. All right. We got one. What was your name? I'm Kiara. Kiara. I knew a I know another girl named Kiara Kitty. I wasn't going for a handshake. I was yelling. Yeah, it was like, I mean, a little stretch. Yeah. Just show her, dude. She was typing her phone number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. There you go. All right. Perfect. So, everyone, Kiara, hard in the chat. Show Kiara some love. You don't want to. You don't want to be involved. Oh, you, oh, you are involved. What's your name? Kate. 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 Oh, hard in the chat for Kate too. Show some love. Okay, so now three out of we got half right now. Half the group, man. Come on, Emma. I know you want to. All right, she's she's sticking to her guts. Good laugh out of this whole thing. Oh my god, I feel like we left. And how old are you? I'm 19. 19. You're all like 18, 19, huh? Perfect. Well, I'm almost 22. That's perfect. Legal matters. A little bit older, huh? <laughs> Welcome to the Boomer Squad. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying, we're not Boomers, bro. Don't I know. I mean, what? I mean, I'm 25. I'm kind of a Ask Boomer. Don't say yes to that. I'm like, I feel like, oh, fuck, I'm so old. And they're like, okay, Boomer. And I'm like, what's that? Don't say that, because you said you're almost 22, and we're 25, and so we're kind of like, oh, y'all are both Boomers. Y'all are ancient. Yo, what? 24, 25? What you mean? Do I just need to go jump off this balcony now or like what? You're just, you're just jealous because you can't drink alcohol yet. She's over. Tw she's almost 22. I turned 22 this month. I mean, she's already 21. That's right. But okay, then you're a boomer too. What's up? Obviously, I'm the brains of this operation as well. Hey, it in. Thank you, ladies, for your time. Thank you so much. I'll have one time, right? Y'all be here for the soon, okay? Okay. For sure. Say again? I said awesome. Yeah. Y'all did well. Bye-bye. Later. Yo, Kimberly. Let's go. Back to the cold. Let's go. <laughs> now let's move the king. No, I ain't in there. Yeah, for real. Damn. <laughs> Are they in? Did you get out? We got three out of six. Yeah, yeah. Success. All right, three out of six. How many do we got right now? Like yeah, six. No, we got like we got like nine, bro. We got six. We got six. We got three over there, three over here. Bro, if, if all these girls really message us back, we already got six in like what twenty five minutes. <laughs> Easy, dude. Let's go. Who? Face of the operation. What's up? Why don't you tell them Chad is going to be one of the bachelors to really seal the deal with Lady Zia Prep? Is one of the four guys? No, it's too many. If we got four guys, we need like twenty girls. Yeah, no, fuck all that. We're already trying to get like. No. 12, 13 girls are ready for this. Yo, we could say that if you're the Bachelor, it could steal the deal more, but then we should say who the other Bachelors are too, Stevie G and Midge. <laughs> what? Like, I don't want to see who's wild, bro. Why, 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 do you, why do you laugh like that? <laughs> Midge, Stevie G, I love you guys so much, so I promise. I swear to God, Midge, you swear so much. I feel like we should just keep the Bachelors a secret, because you yeah. never know what's going to happen a couple weeks from now. Let's just not, you know, say yeah. anything, bro. So, all right. So. We're, we're next. Oh, where do girls hang out next? We already we got like a group of people right now. I, yeah, we thought we, you were going to Sixth Street. So we we did, but Sixth Street was dead. Sixth Street well, got some. We oh, 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 Sixth Street got some low quality action right now. So let's go that way. Huh? Let's go this way. And let's just see what's uh, on the street over here. Because we got to make sure we get more than like we got to get more than as many girls as we need because some oh, of them. Yeah, it's gonna suck, but we already know that some of those girls are gonna flake on us and you know put your hand like kind of thing. Put it like this? Yeah, no, yes, yeah, Dead scene. Just put it like uh, like that. Yeah. 
it's definitely going to be like some Lakers on the event, stuff like that. So we've got to be prepared. You know, it's just like any of the best hey, restaurants. Oh, oh, there are going to be some Lakers on the I mean, how many, of, how many of the Lakers out of what we have right now do you think are going to be chat? Do you think any of the girls are going to be flaking right now? I think we just got those three girls in there because those are three friends right there. And so with that being said, is that they're all going to be that comfort level of having each other around each other. So I think we're solid. Oh yeah, that's true. They're probably all gonna come. They're all gonna be right but, there. But like that one girl by themselves with the cookies, yeah. and maybe they like her. I think, I think, I, I think oh, the first girl. Friends. Yeah. So that's the thing is, you know, I feel like in two weeks we can be like, hey, hit your friends up by the way and see what you got. Bring some friends, make yourself comfortable. It's all good. All right, let's see what we got over here. So we got the campus across the street. I know there's like a bowling alley over there, but fuck all that. Let's see. I know there's. I don't really know the street, so I don't really know where shit is around here. Hi! Wait, why? Wait, no guys. Hey, girl! Hello, how you doing? What are you up to right now? I'm mildly lost. Mildly lost. Where are you talking about? I'm looking for Blanton. It's okay, it's pretty, it's like around this area. I'll be good. Do you want to have some fun with us? Dude, in a month. Do you want to join the best experience? Wait, hold on, how old are you? 19. Say how old? I say 19. Okay, cool. So, hey, I'm Sean, by the way. Hi. Hey, pleasure. What was your name? Jay. Jay? Hey. So, awesome. So, me and... Uh, my, we're live streamers on Mixer. Oh, okay. So, uh, me and Ice right here, we're live streamers on Twitch. Or, Twitch, you got On Mixer. I apologize. So sorry. And so, what we're doing right now is we're trying to do a Bachelor Bachelorette show kind of mixed up thing, right? And so, in about a month and a half, in a couple weeks, we're going to be putting on an event. We're going to be renting a house here in Austin. And we're going to be putting on an event for Bachelors and Bachelors. There's going to be three Bachelor guys. They're not going to be named. Okay, and with that being said, we're going to try and get a bunch of bachelorettes to do it and come and do like mini games and stuff like that at the house. Um, kind of compete for it. Would you be down? For you guys. Yeah, you should would, come. Would you like to be uh, one of the bachelorettes for the no, show? I'm quite all right. No? Oh. no she, I mean, she's very shy. Yeah. You seem very shy, but you are, you are really, you are so cute, so. That's not, I mean, not like a creepy way. I'm just saying like that. Your personality. It's awesome. I feel like, I feel like you would fit in with the show. You'd be one of the different personalities that could really stand out with that show. Oh, God. All right, well, thank you so much, all right? Yeah. All right, let's move. All right, bye-bye. Thanks for talking to us. Yo, KG says uh, fucking that they, the, the girls at the Starbucks winked at each other and they're fucking with us. I like your hair. No. Hey, you hit me with that that sounded so creepy, but I, thought, I was just trying to be nice there. <laughs> but I thought her attitude was kind of cute. I'm like, oh, she's nervous. Yeah. I'm super nervous. What? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yes, it worked. We came on. Hella strong to her, bro. She was hella shy. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. She, got, she was like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm looking at the bland, but it's okay though. No, it's all good. So I don't know, the, I don't know the street or area whatsoever. So I'm just, I'm just assuming there's things over here. So we passed like a fucking like ice cream store and shit. So we're gonna try that place. That's fine. Fuck it, right? Because I don't know what's down there. I just hope you remember where I parked. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. Ice, throw ice beads and show him the boobies. What you mean? Make sure doesn't allow these things. I'm so apologetic. No, no, please give her the Showing boobies. Oh yeah, no, definitely no boobies. <laughs> Is your brother coming? Oh, uh, he hasn't listened to me back yet. I'm about to call him. If we don't find any people over here, we might have to head back to the cookie store. If that was uh, oh, our sure best that? bet. I know it's gonna. I feel some rain coming. This is not good either. <laughs> yeah, I feel it too. Oh, it's cold, bro. <laughs> Giga Chad, where are you? I'm freezing. He needs to come here to warm me up. It's so cold. Why am I wearing a jacket when the girls are cold? Right now, walking down the street, so bro, I don't care. Listen, I, I don't care that you're cold, Kimberly. You should have brought a jacket. It's your fault. I dressed after Grim did. Grim's like, oh, she's dressed like that. I'm like, okay. No. What's up, guys? You got any girls in that car? Damn. No. Absolutely not. Fuck. We're looking for some girls right now, bro. What? We're looking for girls. Dude, what? What is that? I don't know, dude. What's a girl? I don't know, dude. Oh, What's yeah, a girl? What is a girl? No, you want my jacket? No, you'll be. No, no, no. no. I will be free. I'll be freezing. I'll be her jacket. Yeah, good. I'll be. Okay. Listen, I'll be freezing, but you want my jacket? No, it's okay. No, no. You want my jacket? What the fuck? I'll, Stop I'll pressing be, her. I'll be cold, but it's okay. I'm serious. You want my jacket? Okay. <laughs> Too bad. I knew it. <laughs>
<laughs> fucking. Now I want it. Give me your jacket. Yo, to all the fucking, oh, to all the, to all the guys in the chat, they're like, terrible boyfriend. Give me Kim jacket. deserves better. Listen, buddy, she's still dating me, though. No. And I'm a terrible boyfriend, so what's up? I told you oh, to keep it. And then you press okay. I want it now. Hey, Giga Chad's going to be here oh, in 10. Shit. Grim's getting her wish. Oh, shit. Oh, For real, though? I didn't. I, I mean, I. I mean, dude, fuck. no, dude. Cool. Y'all take it off. No, get away from me. You're taking off. Everyone, get away from me. I will destroy you. What are you gonna do? You can't take all of us. Yeah, I'll take you all on. I'll play last. I'll wait. I'll watch. I'll let you get tired. That's the way to do it. Those girls suck where you and getting free cookies, the other ones definitely have more. Kim and Grim have more of a chance of getting girls to come when they stream because they are girls, you're just scarring them, Paul. Oh my god, you should be like, oh, you're scarring them. Right here, right here, ladies. Yeah. Well, you can ask off and just move me back. Hi, girls. Please. Live stream. What? I should be a car salesman? Yeah. <laughs> Thank y'all, I appreciate all the love. Guys, like I said, so many girls in the face. Let's go in here, yeah. Let's go in here, All right. What are you? What are you? Come on, guys. Let's go. All right, whatever. We'll catch him. We gotta, we gotta get back to the service. We'll catch him with us. Yo, we saved. All right, we're good now. We're saved. All right, so the girls will catch up with us in a second. We just wanted to go back to where the service. Gonna be here, girls, Jack. Uh, they'll, they'll catch up. They're. They clearly are. They are, they, yeah, you can be my girl's jacket. They clearly don't want to be here because they are freezing their fucking ass yeah, off. Yeah, I know. So, I don't, well, I don't know why. Who drove? Know. The guy. Oh, the guy. Yeah, Domino drove. And then his brother is going to show up so Grim could be warm. And then your brother could... Let's see how your brother does with convincing girls. Dude, he, that's what he does is he sells people all the time. <laughs> I want to see him, bro. Yeah. I'd be so curious. He, so, he said he'll be here in... Hello. Like, to, damn. Alright, I see a group. I got a, we got a whole group. Uh oh, okay. I, I think they're just getting. They're they might be with the guy, though. But. Oh, 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 you ain't, you ain't I mean, buying, that's a technically so. I mean, why don't you try asking them a question or something? I mean, I'm, we're just like, they want to stop and talk to us, so I mean, it's the same thing. Well, if you confuse them with a the question, and then they stop, and then you just continue from there. I wonder, do you think it would help if, if Kimberly or Grimoire asked? Because they're girls? Maybe. I think it would, actually. Yeah? I mean, we're not let's having see, a hard let's time. See what, let's see what your luck is about. Yeah, you guys try. <laughs> Go, we've been doing pretty good, though, realistically. We've got half the numbers that we've, really? we were expecting for. Let's be honest, we, we got more than we expected for a night. You really weren't hoping for anything, honestly. I, know, I, I thought we were going to go to 6th Street and that shit was going to happen. Yeah, so we're uh, we're doing a lot better than what was planned for the evening, so you can't really deny that. Hey, our kid looks like Hey. All right, where is Oh, they said that, so the group is asking for Kim and Graham to get girls. Yeah, let's see you guys get girls. Let's see the Kim and Graham duo over here. Let's Gu see what y'all got. Guarantee Grimoire's gonna ruin in, it. Let's pull in the hottest girls. Right. Grimoire, you're gonna you're gonna scare them off. No, I won't. I'll be really nice. No, Kim is the good side. I'm gonna. Bring the plank. Good cop, bad cop. Let's do that. 
No, we'll do. They're gonna be intimidated. No, 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 no. Oh. We'll do way better than you guys. Oh wait, is that a group of girls? It's a group of oh. girls. They're all wearing the same okay, clothes. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we what are we gonna say? Um, they're gonna have the best time of their lives next month. Yeah. No, don't say next month. We don't know exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Very soon. So a couple weeks. Wait, they're going this way. Oh. <laughs> Are you guys all together? Yeah. Oh, I really like your hair. I think hair is where you're going. Pizza press? Where? Pizza press. Can we walk with you? Sure. Okay, let's walk. Perfect. Oh, um, <laughs> oh that's what we're doing. Around, More. And we were looking for people for our next event. Oh, I don't know yeah. if you guys would be interested. We have this thing. It's kind of like The Bachelor. I see good. Where we have oh, three guys. You look creepy. And we're getting girls to compete in it. Two. Oh, oh, it's okay. like mini games and stuff. Yeah. It's like speed dating. Oh, interesting. I mean, one, I'm not that pretty, right? <laughs> hey, no, you would do really well. I know. <laughs> you would. I know, we're just going to be back for a minute. Do you guys have boyfriends? No. I do. But most of you don't, right? You should play. Oh. <laughs> it's really fun. Actually, there's people watching right now. Oh. If you guys oh, wow. spam, tell us what's your name? Leah, you're loved. Oh, I'm also Pepe Hearts. Wait, wait for more headlines. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like... Oh, you're good, you're good. No, we're part of an organization called Headliners, so we put on, like, music events on campus. Yeah. That would cool. be perfect. We do a music event. <laughs> yeah, we just came back from a karaoke one. Yeah. Oh, my God. Karaoke yeah. at Bachelor. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Where are y'all doing it at? Like, on social media? Yeah. Kind of like through life. Yes, on Mixer. On Mixer. Oh, okay. oh Mixer. Oh, you know it? I know Mixer. Yeah. I'm Sean. This Hi, is Ice. I know Mixer. How do I know Mixer? I had a couple friends who use Mixer. Mm. Really? Yeah. Dang shit. <laughs> for real, <laughs> for real though. So we're actually the promoters, and who the ones gonna be holding the event for this evening? Oh. Or well, not this evening, but that night. Yeah. And so it's gonna be in a couple weeks. What we're doing is we're getting. We have three bachelors already lined up for the event. They're gonna be kept a mystery until the day of. And right now, we're trying to find all of our bachelorette contestants for the show. With that being three guys, obviously we need a good group of women because it's not just one. The guys are super attractive. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. We chose, we chose those very well. So, why not? So, look, this is what we're, this is the thing. So, if you have a social media like that, we're actually going to promote you on the event of that day. We'll put you out there. The name is CVG. Stevie G. Stevie G. It's in my mind. And so with that being said, is right now we're just gonna get in. So I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm getting all the numbers for the bachelorettes and I'm gonna send them out and then when the day comes and we have the house set and the date set, I'll send out a text and say, hey, this is the time and this is the date. It's gonna be a little bit of a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Where's it? Okay, I won't freeze. Yeah. Would you two be interested in the event? <clears throat> What? This is real, like this is happening. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh Alright, we're done with it. we're done. Guys, what the fuck? What the fuck? Huh? What's, What's your name? Or what the fuck? Leah. Yeah. Leah. No, this, I just want to go eat. This is a normal girl, normal name. Anyways. Yeah. So would you ladies be interested in trying to event? We are encouraging you to, if you do bring one, bring two friends. That way you say it's a comfortable environment, you feel a little bit better. It's gonna be just a couple of hours. It's not like you're gonna be staying the night at the house or anything like that. Yeah. It's a one day event, a couple small games, a little speed dating thing, blah blah blah. You're not looking for love, it's all for fun and show. Would y'all be interested right. in trying it out? Sure. Why? Yeah. How old are you guys? Why not? Yeah, yeah wait. 22. 22? 20. Nice. Cool. This man, man is on fire right now. Literally. He's, oh. You gotta do what he does. That was impressive. That was really good. So if you can put your name in the phone and then put Bachelorette next to it, and that way I know to text you when the event's coming. Why it's really not? up to you. You don't want to. Just try it out. It'll be fun. But why don't you know what helps support your friend and be there with her too? Yeah. That way you'll really find, find a man of your dreams. <laughs> That's how these two met. Really? Yeah. That's all. That's like, oh wow, really? Yeah, I met her on the ba I met her on Bachelor and fucking <laughs> now we're married, so. Oh. So how long have y'all been doing that? 
So he's been doing this for years. Okay. Uh, he's actually, I'm an up and coming streamer for it. I just started out two days ago. I kid oh, you wow. not. Oh. Um, but it, this but is kind of help promoting my stream and everything as well. Okay. So that's the whole point of the whole process. Ah, gotcha. All right. All right, cool. Huh? What if I told you that he's a bachelor? Would that, be, would that be a good bachelor? He's tall. He's tall. Is he handsome? Looking. Maybe we do I like mean, a little, does he have a personality? Though? A little pre me, I've been talking to you all night already. But I guess you'll but find I mean, out. This is like a streamer personality. Why would I, I can't even think this is a real life She's scenario. Good. So I want to make like sure. So this, this, sure. this is how you'll find out. When you do come to the event, I'll make sure that you are the first one that I sit down with and so you can get the very first full effect of it all. And that way I'm not burned out. All right. Keep that promise. I got you. Woo! All right. I want to Pinky promise. Bam. 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 What's your name? Sabrina. 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 Uh, thank you so I much. She likes you, dude. Sabrina and Leah. Yeah. Sabrina. What about you, Leah? Do you, she look pretty nice to you? I don't want to answer that question. <laughs> I don't want to go eat pizza now. She's a little. But it was very nice and a long day. Thank you so much. Yeah. Appreciate you all the time. Yeah, Have a good night, all right? Stop being a talk. Thank you. Sure, yeah. Y'all have a good night. Y'all follow us on Mixer. Uh, no, no, that's good. My phone's about to die. Okay, we'll stop them. You guys seal the deal. Oh, yeah, you, because I think we're good at stopping them. No, Stevie G is his competitor. Don't worry. <laughs> we're good at stopping, but when we start to talk, it's bad. Yeah, sure. What's up, bro? How you yeah. doing? How you going? I'm eating. Let me take it. Yeah, please. <laughs> please. Okay. Three, two... All right. There you go. Appreciate it. I not currently not. Get the fuck on Mixer. All right. What are you doing, Ethan? I don't know, dude. I I don't know, but get on Mixer, Ethan. Will do. Y'all have good night. Yeah. Bye. Good night. Hey Chad, you seem like a pretty good salesman. If you need a job, let me know. We can hire you in a finance firm. You can meet us on getting people to move their money with us. I already offered college out bad mobs in the floors and cleaning the desks. I'm not mobbing floors, dude. What? Uh, yeah, that is a good plan, but well, we should keep walking this way. So what, how many girls did we pick up now? Two more. No, we have almost ten yeah. girls. Almost ten girls. That's good because some of them are going to, like, not, they're going to flake. So you want more than enough. You see me, look, look to your left over here, like, corner down, and see me waving my hand. ST. Bro, yeah, this is us right here. Is it Giga Chad? That's Giga Chad. Oh my god! Is it Giga Chad? Oh. I was not expecting oh, this. You think he's subsequently oh, so thinking about so subsequently yeah, smashing them one by one, bro? Come on. Well, Stevie G and Mitch have a real chance here. He can't just get with any of these girls. Yeah, me too. What's up? So what happened now? I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, somebody <laughs> donated and said that you have 100% chance of winning, so you're subsequently thinking about smashing the girls one by one. <laughs> All right, cool. You know what? I can't wait till I get my strip so I can start getting these, uh, this, uh, well, this donation as well here, guys. Well, you, I mean, you, you don't have the monetization that they bought anyways. You have, you have to wait till that. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so, Giga Chad just went over there and parked for a second, so let's wait right here for him. Yeah, we'll wait for him. <laughs> so when his brother when his brother gets here. Be right there. Uh-huh. When his brother gets here, I think we're he's gonna go live, and then I'll host him, and then we'll see how they do on their stream. This is a good opportunity to give him a chance to shine. They here. watch. Hmm? This is fun. It's yeah, it's fun. Sorry, I thought we were all going out. I feel like. I mean, we are out. Technically. I mean, maybe we could go and check out Sixth Street again. It is ten thirty now, so. It's a Tuesday though. I mean, we could try, but we, uh, we it's it could Tuesday. be more dead. So we definitely. It do. could be. I mean, there could be more girls out, or it could be more dead. Yeah. Not that I'm saying anything is wrong with the ladies that we've got this evening, but we definitely need to find some dime pieces, though. On a Tuesday, dime pieces don't go out on a Tuesday. Hey, hey, hey! It's Taco Tuesday, man. Women love tacos. So let's go to Taco Tracks. Woo! It's too late to talk to them. Stevie G and Mitch is a funny meme, but you think once the girls see them, they'll actually try to win, actually get good, handsome guys that the girls try. Bro, listen, bro. <laughs> it's not a, like, what do you think this is? The we're girls not looking are, for love. We're looking for fun and laughter. This bro, is the point of it. We're not trying to make this a real bachelor. We're making this shit a fucking fun time, okay? But realistically, Stevie, Mitch, and fucking, uh, 
Sean? Sean. Wow, Paul. Wow, dude. I, I remember Sean. his name, but... Yeah, you gotta understand, bro. It, it, it's gonna be a fun time, so don't come at me with that bullshit. He forgets everything. Yeah, don't come don't at me with... Bro, why is this guy over here donating, offending Stevie? Like, bro, get the hell out of here. Oh, I know he, she's still cold. I know, I know. I forgot your name for a second. Yeah, I know. It's pretty fucked. I got a lot. I hope, you, I hope you're all giving him shit for that right now. I got a lot yeah, going through my mind. Don't worry. Where's your brother at? Fuck up. Have you guys heard of the infamous Giga Chad? Yeah, where is he? He has to warm me up. It's what the fuck? Yeah. I'm freezing, bro. I mean, he tried to the other night and he got shot down. What? What kind of shit are you guys saying on the stream? I came into my Discord and everyone was like, expose, expose, expose for what? What were you guys saying? You'll find out soon enough. What the hell? <laughs> oh. oh, shit! That's the stuff I was telling you earlier, remember? Oh, what? what? About that, when I was telling you about what? that. What? What was it? Oh, my God. Oh, what did yeah. you guys say? What? Don't say anything right now. No, no, I won't yeah. say nothing, dude. Tell Grimoire. me. Grimoire. What? Shame, what? Grimoire. <laughs> shame. Shame for yeah. what? I didn't do nothing. You should just tell her. Tell yeah? me. Yes, tell me. So, we realized that, um... You had a stream of about an hour and a half long, uh -huh. and there's a Giga Chad running up behind you. Huh? So, hello. Oh! Bam! Oh, hello! Like Can I take oh, this? Right. No, actually, yeah. I won't, because then you'll freeze. Good time, man. You girls going? No. Yeah, we're good. So, you know I have two jobs. Right, now's the perfect time. So, <laughs> while I have Giga Chad here, we're going to talk about Grimoire's live stream that uh -huh. she decided to uh, yes. stream out. That I don't think she's known. That's Giga Chat has seen. Where she yeah, was saying that her hymen right. is still intact. And that what? everybody should Giga not Chad. be um, assuming that just because my brother looks great, that she's just going to spread Which her leg. true. And she no, was no, no. talking. Why that's why not you the problem. There. The mad shit. She was talking on her last I was, about yeah. me. That's what I was going to say. Y'all were saying that you're a playboy and you're And that you think he's too smooth and all. Oh my. Yeah. Talking mad. And everyone thinks that. No, 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 she says it's true. She's, she's saying again, she's just saying, saying assumptions is fact. So, give me yeah. one thing, one reason why you know it's true. <laughs> because you look like this so and now you came up. So now based on how I look. Yes. Jesus, oh my God. You Listen, came in all smooth. How do you think I would not start assuming? No, no, no. Well, let's focus let's on that real quick. <laughs> how did I come in? What did I say when I came in? If you I don't, don't remember. remember. You don't remember? I believe it was, I believe the exact words, who do you and choose? She I said that she wanted to wrap my warm you arm, said, well, my big biceps around her that night. See, she's farming. Too good. That was on your oh, stream. That's, that's just stating facts. How is that too good? Right. Oh, good do you remember when we were to expose you. I'm, I'm going to expose you. Expose him. Do you remember? Expose you. Oh, wow. I have one more jack in my car for you. Oh, yeah, oh in your jacket. car, huh? But oh, hold on, why do I have you here? Do you remember when we were on the feed and we were looking? You know you can put it on. Oh my god. No, not like that. Sorry, what was that? So while we were out there, before she had met you, right? And I went outside to go and meet them to see what they were doing. She said, "Damn, you have really nice biceps. I want you to wrap those around me." Oh, I did say that. You did. It's oh, a joke, bro. Oh man. It's a joke. And then you bounced to my brother, but because yeah, you're I trying know to expose that he wouldn't us. do that to anyone. But you're trying to expose us. Well, expose him really for being too slick and stuff like that. But you were hitting on me, and then you went Which to hit on him. Which is true. Damn, Grimoire. <laughs> Damn. Hitting on all the guys. <laughs> Damn. And then making fun of them. No, I'm not making fun little, of them. I feel I'm a little just... objectified over here. I'm sitting out with you, bro. Mm. Hey, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Oh, man. All right, so where are we going? All right, so this was this, this was gonna happen. Okay, we're gonna he's gonna go live, so go live, and we're gonna switch over to his stream, and then we're all gonna be on his stream. This is his chance to shine now on his stream. Remember, we're trying to grow Team CX on Mixer, so show him some love. Go follow his channel. I'm gonna host his channel, and yay, shine, shine, show love to Sean. You know, we'll be, I'll be, I'll be on his stream with him, so don't worry. But this is his time to shine. Let's have him take over the stream and see how he does now. He's With me as the side person. He's already ready. He has a selfie stick. I know. Right? Good David Good Oh, Good yeah. Real, realis hey, I bought it from the store. Hey, realistically, bro, since you're with me, I could just let you log into the live view real quick. That would oh. that'd be higher quality. How are you? I'm sorry. I couldn't quite. But the only issue with that is oh, that. I can't host yeah. you off the bat. 
So why don't we do this for like 10 minutes and then say, hey, stay tuned. We're switching over. Yeah, okay. So go to your phone. I'll log you into the live view. I'll host you, and then we'll, it'll be like a two-second intermission. So you're here right now. Yeah. Well, apparently they're too good. So am I supposed to dumb them down? Or? No, just be yourself. Just be myself. I mean, yeah. your phone. Well, apparently that doesn't work. So I was being myself before, oh. and apparently it's too okay. smooth. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll figure that out. Is this still on? For <laughs> <Yes. laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's gonna get even worse so, off. Is it already on? Can we get even worse off? No, no, no. You mm. hit the red button. Yeah, do I'm we gonna have to take you. Yeah. I uh, will. For some reason, I don't do that. You know me. Try to. At least you're getting to know me. What's going on, guys? You wanna take me? Small life here. Do my yeah. first live stream. Got ice right here. Mm. Alright, hold on. Got the whole so, hold on, let me host you. I'm gonna host him, guys. And then we'll switch to live you in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna host him, so. Hey, you can host him from my channel. Oh, oh, my phone's on. Not yet. No, no, I think you do. I think well, you added moderators. No. Okay, well, I'll add them. Yeah, add some moderators, dude. Okay. So hold on one second, guys. We'll be right back. No, no, no we'll still be here. Uh, hold on, let me just. Still add him. Wait, he's still on. Bro. Let me just jump on. I'm about to, I'm about to figure this evil man out. I'll tell you guys later, don't worry. I guess so one second they're gonna hook me up some moderators, because I definitely forgot about that part. That's alright. We're on it. Yo, we're doing cafe or something. Okay. All right. All right. Where are you guys going? To a cafe. So she can actually be nice to me off -site. Yeah, I'm gonna talk. Guys, say goodbye. If I go missing, you know what happened, bro. Chad, Bye, guys. On this is date number two. Oh. Okay. So they did date number one to the house. Alright. Still live? Yeah. I'm hosting.